Miss Bacon tapped the table lightly with her fingers, and said casually. During the attack on the Navy's New World branch, it was attacked by the new weapon Seraphim, who came to support it, and suffered a slight injury. In this operation, she and Weevil looted a lot of money and treasures from the Navy branch, including a valuable devil fruit, which can be said to be quite rewarding. Of course, the devil fruit matter was not reported, and she swallowed it all by herself. I see. Mr. Three nodded. He didn't ask much about the harvest of the Navy branch. Anyway, the cancer of Miss Bacon will be cleaned up sooner or later. On the contrary, he was a little surprised that the SSG Seraph was able to hurt Weevil. This is the second time he has heard of the Navy's super weapon that claims to be able to replace Shichibukai. The first time was when Buggy recruited Weevil and teamed up with Hawkeye to eliminate the Navy's Lieutenant Admiral. It has to be said that these products of anti-sky science, such as giantization experiments and blood factors, pose a great threat to the current Cross Union. Although the Navy is unlikely to use all Seraphim against the Cross Union. Sure enough, we still need to get scientific talents as soon as possible. Mr. Three is more determined to start scientific and technological research. Since it was getting late, and the prisoners in Advanced City had been exhausted all day, the meeting did not mention too many issues about personnel arrangements. In fact, this issue also needs to be discussed in detail between Buggy and Granny Z and others before reaching a conclusion. This group of prisoners is not like the pirates of the Buggy Express mercenary group who barely exceed, they can be arranged and adjusted at will. As strong players who can raise the overall strength of the cross trade union to a higher level, their positions and the role they need to play are particularly important. Especially Doflamingo's original pirate group forces and underground world organizations. After he was released from prison, he wanted to regain control of these things that were likely to be eaten away, and reached a docking with the cross union. Obviously, it's not something that can be done in a day or two. But Mr. Three is not too worried, after all, the name Doflamingo Amayasha is not called for nothing. What's more, Doflamingo now has the powerful cross union as his backing. Of course, Mr. Three doesn't intend to intervene in these tedious and complicated matters. This is not his field of expertise, he is too lazy to answer. Therefore, this meeting mainly focuses on introducing the development goals and basic rules of the cross trade union. At the end of the meeting, a burly man with bulging muscles came in from the outside. It is Mr. One Daz Bones who is leading the fleet to swing around the Navy headquarters and is responsible for attracting attention. As soon as he came to the meeting room, he had scratches on his face, and he attracted everyone's attention. You managed to come back alive, Daz. Crocodile said calmly, smoking a cigar. Through the contact of the phone bug, he learned that Daz encountered the pirate ship of Marshal D. Teach, the black beard of the four emperors, on the way back. Daz, tell me in detail, Blackbeard intercepted your purpose. Buggy, who was on the main seat, asked aloud. As someone who had dealt with Blackbeard more than 30 years ago, he knew how terrifying this ambitious guy was. Dasburney looked at a group of strange faces around him in surprise. After realizing that these people were the prisoners Mr. Three rescued from the city, he quickly calmed down. The thing is like this. When we received the news of Akainu's return, we immediately evacuated the waters around the Navy headquarters according to the plan. But it didn't take long before they were attacked by the Blackbeard pirate ship, and they bombarded our fleet involuntarily, with very obvious attack intentions. Only, Dasbonus briefly recalled the scene at that time, frowning tightly. After discovering that President Buggy, Hancock, and Hawkeye on the ship were just wax figures, not the real person, they stopped attacking, leaving a two-way talking phone bug and then turned the bow and left. Thinking of this, a lingering fear appeared involuntarily on the face of Dasbonus's indifferent and strong man. One can imagine how dangerous the situation was at that time. That damn bastard, after all these years, is he still thinking of winning or losing with me? Buggy, who was in the main position, naturally thought of himself. After all, when he was still an intern on Roger's ship, he had a brief encounter with the young Blackbeard who was staying in the Whitebeard Pirates. At that time, he was still staring at Blackbeard for three days and three nights. He was the first person on Roger's ship to discover that Blackbeard didn't need to sleep. As soon as these words came out, the prisoners on the fifth and sixth floors, including Doflamingo, were all shocked, and expressed doubts. Blackbeard, the fourth emperor, has always wanted to decide the outcome with President Buggy? They are all shrewd people who are well aware of the horror of Blackbeard, unlike those simple-minded fans outside who start to make up their own brains with just a single sentence. Mr. Three glanced at Buggy, who felt good to me, and shook his head slightly. Now that there are so many people, he can only hold back the urge to ridicule this idiot. If it is Shanks, there is still this possibility, you Buggy. Just forget it. However, Buggy's words also provided Mr. Three with some ideas. 
Obviously, the targets of Blackbeard's sudden whole group operation this time are Buggy, Hancock and Hawkeye. Combined with Blackbeard's methods of frantically plundering various powerful devil fruits in the original book, it is very likely that he is eyeing Buggy or Hancock's devil fruit. Do you not hesitate to risk the risk of fighting with Hawkeye, but you want to get the devil fruit? Mr. Three is a little confused. According to Blackbeard's cautious and cunning character, he shouldn't do such uncertain things. Unless, the devil fruit he is targeting has this value. Buggy's split fruit. When Mr. Three was traveling, the latest manga was updated to Luffy awakening Nika and Kaido for the final battle, and the development of the follow-up plot was not known. Therefore, he took it for granted that what Blackbeard wants to get should be the shattered fruit. After all, if this ability is well developed, it can definitely be regarded as a top fruit. Just the attribute of immunity to slashing is quite against the sky, not to mention that Blackbeard's old opponent, the red-haired Shanks, is a swordsman. As for Hancock's sweet fruit, Mr. Three probably simulated in his mind the scene after Blackbeard ate the sweet fruit. No matter what I do, I will be forgiven, because I am handsome like a god, and then, thief ha 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 ha, beautiful, 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 emitting a sweet light. Please. Anyone who is petrified by this thing can laugh for a whole year. To sum up, Mr. Three firmly believes that Blackbeard's target is probably Buggy's torn fruit. Blue blue blue. At this moment, the two-way phone bug held by Daz Bones suddenly rang. Buggy split his palm without hesitation, took the phone bug from Daz's hand, and pressed the connect button. Hey. I'm Buggy, he spoke in an extremely arrogant state. After a few seconds of silence, the phone worm, which had transformed into a black beard with jagged teeth, burst into laughter. Thief ha 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 ha. Buggy, I didn't expect that even you became the fourth emperor. Why, Tiki, seeing us become the overlord, are you starting to feel scared too? Unexpectedly, Buggy, who has always been loyal, didn't have the slightest fear in front of Blackbeard. With his gloomy face and arrogant remarks, in the eyes of many prisoners in Advance City, he really has the posture and posture that the four emperors should have. Even Hawkeye and Crocodile, who knew a little about Buggy's background, showed quite surprised expressions. On the contrary, Mr. Three has a calm demeanor, seeing through Buggy's true thoughts hidden under this composure. Among the current four emperors, he has a good friendship with the red-haired Shanks and the straw hat Luffy. No matter how strong Blackbeard is, he dare not easily start a war with the three sea emperors. Although with Buggy's character, he would definitely not turn his face down to ask Shanks and Luffy for help, but he did take advantage of the relationship between these two. This can be seen from the phrase, we, others may not know his relationship with Shanks, but can Blackbeard not know? After all, he is an insidious and cunning clown, but it is true that he has played the trick of the fox and the tiger. Thief ha ha ha, as expected of a man who dares to offer a reward even to the navy, what an amazing aura. The phone bug imitated the Blackbeard's gradually gloomy and fierce eyes, and said slowly, just like the confrontation more than thirty years ago, you stared at me for three days and three nights. Compared to Shanks, you can hide unexpected depths, Buggy. The words that tend to reminisce about the past fell on the ears of everyone in the conference room, especially the newly joined prisoners on the fifth and sixth floors, but they had completely different meanings. Although the prisoners on the sixth floor were shocked, they could barely remain silent after seeing the big wind and waves. As for the prisoner on the fifth floor, the force level is much lower, and I can't help lowering my voice and exclaiming. Hiss. As early as thirty years ago, President Buggy had a confrontation with Blackbeard? So, they are still decades old rivals. President Buggy said just now that Blackbeard wanted to find him to win the game. I thought it was bragging, but I didn't expect it to be true. Damn it. This man hides it so perfectly. I was still hesitating whether to join the cross union or not. Now that I think about it, being able to follow such a powerful and tolerant man is simply the greatest luck in my life. Buggy's ears were pricked up, hearing the admiration these powerful rookies had for him, the corners of his mouth raised uncontrollably, showing an even more arrogant expression. Stop talking nonsense, I heard about it just now, you guys attacked the Crusader Union fleet. Buggy's tone was extremely tough, as if he was about to be able to conceal the anger in his heart, and roared at the phone bug, tell me, how should this account be settled? Inside the tallest building on Hive Island. Blackbeard's face was splashed by the saliva sprayed out by the phone bug, but he didn't care. Instead, his eyes rolled and landed on the tall figure in the dark corner. Compared to this trivial matter, Buggy, I have someone here, I believe you will be very interested. He is one of the former Shichibukai, Moonlight Mariah. The fact that the Cross Union has been recruiting the original Shichibukai recently has already spread in the New World. As the boss of Pirate Island, it is naturally impossible for Blackbeard not to know. Moonlight Moria. Buggy stared. The current cross union has begun to take shape. 
Although Mariah's own strength is not very good, his zombie army is very useful, especially in wars that will cause mass casualties. More importantly, with one more Shichibukai, the overall strength of the cross union will be stronger, and his situation will be safer. Thief ha ha ha, that's right, this guy tried to get in touch with you through the shadow bat not long ago. How about it, how about I hand him over to you directly, and give up some of the resources of the underground world by the way, Blackbeard said. Hearing this, Buggy immediately burst into joy, squinted his eyes and smiled, if that's the case, I won't bother with you about your attack on our fleet. People don't care about this kind of thing at all. Sitting next to him, Mr. Three raised his teacup, took steaming black tea from the teapot in Ayasha's hand, took a sip, and quietly waited for Blackbeard's next condition. Buggy, you really like to joke. After being speechless for a while, Blackbeard's cold voice came from the phone bug in Buggy's hand. I mean, in exchange, I need you to hand over the pirate queen, Boa Hancock. The unexpected conditions made everyone's nerves tense instantly. Mr. Three's eyes widened even more, and he almost spit out the black tea in his mouth. That ambitious black beard actually set his mind on Hancock? Although it is reasonable to look at it from the perspective of an old-fashioned critic, it is reasonable to want to enjoy it after many years of fighting, but. In terms of Blackbeard's temperament, he would definitely not anger a long-established veteran powerhouse because of this kind of thing. So, his real goal is probably, sweet fruit? Mr. Three is a bit unbelievable. According to his previous deduction, what Blackbeard valued more should be the torn fruit that is immune to slashing. However, Blackbeard's next words verified his unreal conjecture. If it wasn't for that damned Mr. Three of your cross guild who took the lead, Hancock's abilities would already be ours. How? Compared with Hancock, Moria's role in your cross union is much greater. When the world government announced the abolition of Kibuhe, Blackbeard once organized troops to set off towards Amazon Lily, trying to snatch Hancock from the navy. It's just that Mr. Three, who had just crossed over at that time, happened to list Hancock as the first recruiting target and took the nine snake pirates back to Blazing Island first, leaving Blackbeard in vain. After a brief shock, Mr. Three looked up at Hancock not far away. I saw that the face of this arrogant and powerful world's number one beauty was extremely gloomy. Mixed with a faint uncontrollable domineering look, Hancock exudes an extremely terrifying killing intent all over his body. Despite being aware of Hancock's anger on the verge of exploding, Mr. Three didn't make a sound, just continued to sip his black tea in silence. Although Buggy is unreliable most of the time, he will never make a wrong choice when it comes to whether he can save his life. Ahahahadiki, I thought you were a smart guy, but I didn't expect you to be as stupid as a black pig. Buggy laughed loudly at first, and then changed the subject, suddenly becoming eerie. Hancock is my subordinate, if you want to change her, then you fucking, come to Kalai Bali to find Lao Tzu yourself. President Buggy, you really, I'm crying to death. For the subordinates to scold the four emperors Blackbeard, is this the man who stepped out of the ship of Pirate King Roger? Even if the red-haired Shanks came, he could only do the same at most, right? Sure enough, I decided to join the cross union as the most correct choice. The prisoners on the fifth floor who saw Buggy angering Blackbeard with their own eyes were completely conquered by this charisma. The world of pirates is full of intrigue and betrayal. Who wouldn't want to follow a leader who gave up his interests for his subordinates, and even angered the four emperors? If Buggy just rejected Blackbeard's proposal, that would be normal behavior, but he. Don't give Blackbeard any face at all. After spraying the black beard, Buggy blinked his round eyes blankly. To be honest, he didn't have the terrifying courage to anger the four emperors for his subordinates. The reason why I said that was because I didn't want to be kicked into gravel by the angry Hancock on the spot to save my life. And let Blackbeard come to find him in person, purely because here in Kale Bali, there are Hawkeye, Crocodile, Hancock, Weevil, etc. These masters are standing there. Only a fool would go outside and yell at Blackbeard. Ha ha ha, that's right, that's the way it is. Even the four emperors, don't want to take advantage of Lao Tzu's subordinates. Gradually, Buggy lost his way in the support of the new little fans, activated the split fruit, and made De Hongpao extremely huge. As inflated as his state of mind at this moment. There was a moment of silence on the phone bug, and Blackbeard was obviously taken aback by the sudden insult. Ever since he obtained the Junjen fruit and became the Four Emperors, no one dared to speak to him like this in person. After shaking for a few seconds before he could react, Blackbeard laughed out loud. Thief ha 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 ha, you are really arrogant, as a newcomer Four Emperors. But Buggy, I won't give up easily, after all, there is something I want in that woman. Click. Dark red lightning burst out from Hancock's body. This feeling, which was described as a commodity, reminded her of that bad memory. 
for the arrogant pirate empress, this is simply a great insult. Tiki. Hancock's beautiful eyes were filled with murderous intent. Plop, plop. Under the deterrence of this domineering aura, even the prisoners on the fifth floor couldn't bear it, and the weaker ones fell limp to the ground. Snake princess. Just as Grandma Z next to her wanted to speak out, a figure appeared in front of her. Even in the center of Hancock's domineering look, Mr. Three's expression did not change at all. He slowly raised his arm, passed through the dark red lightning, and patted Hancock on the shoulder lightly. Hancock, calm down. The calm and steady voice fell in Hancock's ears, causing her to regain some composure in an instant. Compared with Buggy, she has more trust in Mr. Three who has the same experience as a draconian slave. The raging domineering arrogance finally calmed down, and Buggy, who was sweating coldly on the main seat, heaved a sigh of relief. Fortunately, having stayed on Roger's ship, he had a relatively high level of insight and vision, and he withstood the first wave of shock. Otherwise, if you faint in front of such a group of cadres, you won't be able to hang out in the cross union in the future. Mr. Three, did he realize this and took the initiative to stop Hancock? Buggy looked at Mr. Three in amazement, and suddenly felt admiration in his heart. As expected of you, Three, who was about to faint like me, yet still pretended to be so calm and calm. Mr. Three didn't know Buggy's defamation of him at this time, but walked slowly in front of Buggy, and took the phone bug with his hand. Hi, Blackbeard. The phone bug imitated Blackbeard's frown. Who are you? The one you said disrupted your plan, damn Mr. Three. It turned out to be the chief of staff of the Cross Trade Union. Why, do you have anything to do with me? As our captain said, Hancock is our partner, so what you said just now, I can understand that you Blackbeard pirates are declaring war on the Crusaders, right? Mr. Three said with a cold expression. His tone didn't sound like he was bluffing. Although it is far from the time to fight Blackbeard, but in front of so many cadres and new subordinates, as the chief of staff of the Cross Union, he must show a fearless and tough stance just like Buggy. Since Blackbeard chose to let Mr. One go, leaving the communication phone bug as a way of peaceful negotiation, instead of going directly to the Cross Union headquarters to snatch people, it shows that he is also afraid. No one wants to start the war between the two four emperors easily, so there is no need to worry that Blackbeard will really fight for the time being. Even if he really dared to do something, the current cross union may not necessarily be defeated. Fortunately, the crocodile, Doflamingo and other strong men were summoned in a short period of time. Otherwise, Hawkeye, who only has an ally relationship, really lacks confidence. And, Mr. Three looked deeply, analyzing the real purpose of Blackbeard's call. Aside from trying to achieve the goal of exchanging Hancock by peaceful means, most likely also have the intention of testing the current level of unity of the Cross Union. After all, outsiders only know that the old and new Shichibukai chose to join the Buggy Pirates, but not the specific details and agreements. If they were profit-oriented pirates like the Rocks Pirates decades ago, they would most likely agree to hand over Hancock in exchange for Moria and some underground world resources that are more practical. In this case, Blackbeard's goal can be achieved naturally. If you want to deal with or even annex the cross trade union in the future, you can also formulate relevant strategies in advance without too many scruples. On the contrary, if there is enough unity within the cross union, the cautious and wretched Blackbeard will lurk and act carefully, looking for the right opportunity before making a move. After such an analysis, it is not difficult to see what kind of sinister intentions are hidden behind Blackbeard's reckless behavior of calling the cross union. That's why Mr. Three, who came to a conclusion, took the initiative to stand up, and did not hesitate to threaten Blackbeard with, war. Thief ha 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 ha. Is this the chief of staff of the Cross Guild? I was skeptical before, but now it seems that you really seem like a man who can gather those proud guys. As expected, Blackbeard is currently not sure about going to war head on with the Cross Union, or in other words, for a Hancock, there is no need to head on with the internally united Cross Union. So, he changed the subject and said, I'm just providing you with better choices. Everyone gets what they need. If you don't want to, then forget it. If there is a chance, I really want to meet you, Mr. Three Galdino. Just when he was about to hang up the phone, Mr. Three interrupted him. Wait. Huh? Is there anything else? Blackbeard asked suspiciously. Although we will never betray Hancock, but. Children make choices, Moria, sooner or later it will be ours. On Beehive Island, the high-ranking Blackbeard suddenly became interested after hearing such arrogant and domineering remarks. Mr. Three, you. Click. Unfortunately, in the next second, the phone bug was hung up by the opposite party. This bastard. A strong killing intent burst out from Blackbeard's eyes, and the power of the shaking fruit exploded, and the phone bug in his hand was shaken to pieces. He he he, Blackbeard, I didn't expect you to be deflated sometimes. In the dark corner, Mariah's mean laughter came. 
Through the phone bug, he heard the Crusader's protection of Hancock and Mr. Three's last remarks. The last trace of worry in his heart was completely dispelled, and he became more determined in his decision to join the Cross Union and achieve his own dominance. Buggies, give that annoying thing a good beating, Blackbeard said indifferently. Then, the cheap Moria was beaten inhumanely. Blackbeard's sudden call ended so hastily. Although it did not cause substantial damage to the Cross Trade Union, from this moment on, the tension between the two sides has been settled. After seeing the attitude of Buggy and Mr. Three resolutely defending their subordinates, the newly joined prisoners of Advanced City also let go of their worries and many small thoughts, and decided to stay at the Cross Union with peace of mind. The power of the four emperors that even Blackbeard is afraid of, there are countless pirates out there trying to join in. Led by the younger brother who was guarding outside, these powerful pirates returned to the pre-arranged temporary residence and rested for the time being. The more special Doflamingo is also among them. After all, from being the secret king of Dress Rosa to becoming a member of others, the rebellious Tian Yasha needs to calm down and adjust his mentality. Immediately afterwards, Hawkeye and Miss Bajan, who had no feeling for the Cross Union, also left the field one after another. Hancock, who was sitting on the pink python, stretched his slender legs and stood up slowly. After regaining her previous arrogant posture, she glanced at Buggy, then set her sights on Mr. Three. Buggy, Mr. Three, I am very satisfied with your attitude just now, the pirate empress said with a charming smile. Seeing Hancock's rare gentleness, Buggy immediately became ecstatic. Ha ha ha. Isn't this what a captain should do? Asshole. Hancock, if you fall in love with me because of this, I will not be responsible. Hearing how inflated this thing was, Mr. Three adjusted his goggles and couldn't help but sneer. I said Buggy, can you take a picture of yourself when you take a piss? Hancock has clearly seen my masculinity, and was overwhelmed by my arrogance and wanted to commit himself to him. What are you? All the people staying here are the most core members of the Cross Union, and Mr. Three naturally couldn't give Buggy enough face as he did just now. What? I admit that my mind is indeed inferior to yours, but in terms of appearance, what kind of shit are you? Buggy's clown face was full of displeasure. If the beauty in your mouth is that sexy red nose, then I admit that I am not your match in terms of coquettishness and wretchedness. Mr. Three responded freely, and hit a critical blow with his backhand. Bastard. Talking about my nose again. Buggy was quite unconvinced, turned his head and said to Hancock, Hancock, tell me, isn't Lao Tzu's charm a thousand times stronger than him? Looking at Buggy's clown face covered in strange makeup, Hancock didn't want to say anything, but raised his hands expressionlessly, putting together a loving figure in front of him. Sweet and sweet, in the alluring charm, pink light passed through Buggy's body. Hum. The red-eyed Buggy was instantly petrified, turning into a cold stone sculpture. Sure enough, Buggy, like Mr. Three, is also a womanizer. Hancock came to such a conclusion in his mind. If it was the time when she was first recruited, her fruit ability could work on Buggy, and she might not be willing to stay in the Cross Union. But after this Blackbeard incident, whether Buggy will be petrified by her ability or not, and whether he can hold it, is actually not that important. Ha ha ha. You little buggy, why don't you be arrogant again? Mr. Three cheerfully walked up to Buggy's stone sculpture, raised his hand and patted his shoulder. This hand just picked up the booger. Hancock, sure enough your eyes didn't disappoint me, like me. Sweet and sweet. Hum. The pink light shone through, and another red-eyed stone statue fell to the ground. It's just two rude people. It's a matter of course to protect my concubine with the consciousness of death. After all, as a concubine, she is as beautiful as a fairy. Hancock raised his slender white palm and brushed the black hair hanging down his side face, his beautiful eyes were full of arrogance. Having said that, when she turned around and left the scene with Granny Z, with her back to the rest of the crowd, the corners of her mouth involuntarily raised, and she was so beautiful. She has always enclosed herself in the nine snake pirates, unexpectedly, she doesn't hate the noisy and warm atmosphere now. This is a kind of relaxation and comfort that I have never felt before. Of course, at the end of leaving, Hancock still raised his hand to lift the petrification status of the two old perverts. Daz, let's go back too, there are a lot of things waiting for us. The show ended, and Crocodile, who lost his interest, lit a cigar and left the conference room with Daz Bonus. He is now the captain of the third team of the Cross Union, responsible for intelligence collection and rewards for the Navy. This is an extremely important department that cannot let down our vigilance at all times. The two who had recovered from their petrified state obviously had no intention of continuing to bicker. 3. Although we achieved a perfect victory in this operation, we also thoroughly annoyed that terrible guy Akainu. Will we be retaliated by the Navy headquarters in the future? There were so many people just now, 
Buggy had to show a brave and fearless attitude. Now there are only Mr. Three and Ayasha left here, so he expressed his worries. Haha, <laughs> Buggy, just now you were angry with Blackbeard. Why did you talk about Akainu instead? Mr. Three was quite calm about this. You bastard. You can't tell that I was trying to hold on. Buggy's face was full of fear, if you don't say that in that situation, you will definitely be petrified and kicked into slag. It was rare to see him be so honest. Mr. Three put away his teasing thoughts, and said seriously, Don't worry, as long as we don't tell the outside about the city, Akainu will have nothing to do with us. In the initial plan of promoting the city's new action, he wanted to use this big event to enhance the prestige and reputation of the Cross Union, so as to attract more powerful people to join. Although doing so will more or less provoke the Navy's retaliation, it is unlikely that they will mobilize a large number of troops to target the Cross Trade Union during this chaotic period. But the black beard who appeared suddenly interrupted his plan abruptly. At the same time, it is still too reluctant to deal with the harassment and even the attack of the navy headquarters and the four emperors, considering the current overall strength of the cross union. Even if you are not careful, you will be fatally hit. Therefore, to be on the safe side, Mr. Three gave up the idea of making the city promotion event public and increasing its influence. And the navy headquarters, as one of the important institutions of the world government, Propel City represents the majesty of sanctions and justice. They will certainly not take the initiative to disclose the negative news of being invaded, such a disgraceful one. Especially in this chaotic era of turmoil in the Eight Kingdoms and the earth-shaking pattern of the Pirate Four Emperors. As for why Doflamingo and others who were in prison appear in the Cross Union, most of them will just make excuses to perfunctory. All in all, the Navy will definitely suffer a lot this time. After some analysis by Mr. Three, Buggy quickly figured out the current relative security of the Cross Union, and left the meeting room with a face of peace of mind. After him, Mr. Three also returned to his own luxurious villa. Including Hawkeye, each team leader of the Cross Guild has its own residence area on Kale Bali Island. Having enjoyed the comfortable and warm knee pillow, Mr. Three, who has been greatly relaxed physically and mentally, is lying on the spacious big bed, and does not have much desire to rest. With a slight movement of his mind, he swapped out the props module on the system panel. Make sure to use the domineering lecture hall, and the goal of upgrading is Overlord Color. In the initial planning, Mr. Three thought to first upgrade the domineering color of the armed color and the domineering color of the knowledge color. After all, if there is no class that can use the domineering entanglement, the domineering aura of the king can only be used to clear the minions and pretend to be aggressive, and has almost no effect on the overall strength. There are two reasons why Mr. Three temporarily changed his mind and switched to the Bawang color domineering. First, judging from the previous two times, the effect of the domineering lecture hall is not just a simple guarantee of promoting the designated domineering class. The seven-day virtual scene training will benefit both the three-color domineering, physical skills, mental strength, and reaction speed. And his current armed domineering is already in a strong plus-plus state, it is not difficult to make a breakthrough in this domineering lecture. Second, he felt great pressure and a sense of crisis from the coveted Blackbeard Pirates. The current Crusaders Guild has taken shape, not only the Blackbeard Pirates, but also those hidden underground world forces and other pirates must be staring at it. As long as the Crusaders show their flaws, they will definitely swarm up like hyenas and crazily nibble away. Just like the current Big Mom Pirates, the cruel and bloody pirate world won't tell you about benevolence, justice and morality. In this case, the role of a single armed color domineering or knowledge color domineering will be far lower than that of a domineering color. Moreover, the breakthrough of the boundary after the awakening of the fruit ability is very likely to be related to the domineering look of the overlord. Mr. Three needs to lay the foundation in advance and be fully prepared. The domineering lecture hall has been successfully used, and the goal of upgrading is determined to be domineering and domineering, and the teacher is online. As the system notification sound fell, the surrounding environment began to distort and change like the previous two times. After experiencing a mirror-like visual experience, in the blink of an eye, Mr. Three came to the different dimensional scene constructed by this domineering lecture hall. Cherry blossoms are flying all over the sky, and on the streets full of Japanese style, samurai with hair buns and long swords on their waists and geisha oirens in kimonos shuttle among them. Here, it is the country controlled by the former four emperors and beasts Kaido, Wano country. Mr. Three widened his eyes, staring closely at the beautiful women with different looks and figures around him. Don't get me wrong, he just wants to take this opportunity to expand the upper limit of his secret skill, candle statue sex friends. Just when Mr. Three was fascinated, at the end of the street, suddenly came an extremely tall and strong man over seven meters tall with two long horns on his head. A huge shadow shrouded in, 
startling the surrounding samurai and geisha to run away, and disappeared without a trace in the blink of an eye. Hey, where did the brat come from, and the aura exuding from his body is so powerful? The iconic laugh came, the burly man glanced at Mr. Three, then grabbed the wine gourd around his waist and swung his head up. Hundreds of Kaido. Although it can be more or less guessed, the blood in Mr. Three's body boiled uncontrollably the moment he saw Mr. Kaido. Even though this is just a strange dimension created by the system, what is standing in front of you at this moment is the real strongest creature in the sea, land and air, Kaido the Four Emperors. Little devil, are you ready? I won't show mercy. After drinking, Kaido fastened the wine gourd, and took out the mace, eight fasts with his backhand, his sloppy eyes froze, and an unimaginable horror and oppression erupted immediately. Not long ago, Mr. Three confronted General Kazaru. Although Kazaru, who is the highest combat power of the Navy headquarters, is also extremely oppressive, it is far inferior to Kaido's fierce aura mixed with top-level domineering aura. The moment he looked at Kaido, he felt every cell in his body tremble. However, now he has completed the awakening of the Devil Fruit ability, and he is no longer a rookie when he just traveled. Come on! Beast Kaido! The moment the voice fell, Kaido in front of him suddenly disappeared out of thin air as if the world had evaporated. Oops! Mr. Three's pupils shrank suddenly, and his knowledge and knowledge were full of arrogance, and he quickly caught Kaido's figure moving at high speed. Just about to raise his hand and use his fruit ability to deal with it, Kaido, who was extremely fast, had already appeared beside him. The mace in his hand was surrounded by frightening dark red lightning, and he swung it with an extremely domineering yet simple and rude gesture. As you wish, thunder gossip. Boom. A huge shock wave erupted from the end of the mace, and Mr. Three, who couldn't guard against it, firmly took the stick with his head. Severe pain was transmitted, and at the last second of losing consciousness, he moved slightly, trying to use the eternal wax museum in a cooling state. A wax museum made purely of dark gray candles slowly emerges in this space. On the square candle holder, a candle phantom floated out and landed on Mr. Three who fell to the ground and passed out. Surging power filled the whole body, and Mr. Three, who was unharmed, stood up again. As I expected, in this space, the Eternal Wax Museum is not affected by the cooldown. In this case, the previous development ideas about the Eternal Wax Museum can just be tested here by the way. Looking back at the Eternal Wax Museum that gradually dissipated, but there are still two wax figures, Mr. Three smiled brightly. Ha ha ha, Kaido, open your eyes and see what infinite sit-ups are. Swish swish. Under the influence of his fruit ability, the ground under his feet and the surrounding buildings all turned into dark gray strengthened candles. He raised his arm, and the dark gray candles condensed and compressed towards the top of his head, forming a giant sphere the size of an island. With a sound of buzz, the explosive properties added after the awakening of the fruit's ability fully bloomed, making the inside of the entire giant sphere look like a small sun bursting out bursts of impact. Take it, Candle Demon Great Flame Ring. Now that there is no cooling limit for the Eternal Wax Museum, Mr. Three has no scruples and will do his best when he comes up. Hum, interesting. The endless flames seemed to burn the space, and Kaido, who felt the power of this move, became a little more serious. I saw his tall and burly figure suddenly transformed into a blue dragon rushing towards the sky of Wano Country. The mouth of the dragon with its fangs bared was wide open, and it began to accumulate a huge amount of energy. Hot breath. The penetrating energy enough to evaporate a small mountain was sprayed out, and it collided with Mr. Three's great flame ring in the midair. Boom. The terrifying shock wave exploded, instantly destroying most of Wano Country's flower capital. In the full of gunpowder smoke covering the sky, Mr. Three with a pair of pure white and sacred wings came through the air from behind, now is the best time to practice using, wings of liberty. Candle Flame Breathing. Mr. Three, who came to Kaido, swung the giant candle fist that had already been fully charged. However, Kaido, who has also cultivated his domineering aura to the point where he can meet the short future, launches an attack first. The thick and powerful dragon tail swung head on, slamming Mr. Three back to the ground, creating a deep hole. Thundering Gossip. Before Mr. Three, who staggered to his feet, was able to recover, Kaido, who had reformed into a human form, had already come to him waving an unpretentious thunderous gossip. Mr. Three didn't feel the improvement of his arrogance obviously except that he was photographed in a messy way. While using the Eternal Wax Museum to supplement the state, 10,000 grass and mud horses galloped past in my heart. Grandma has a leg, and the agreed one stick Liuying and two sticks are tyrannical. Ding. Mr. Kaido's domineering lecture is completed. A good teacher can help you avoid detours, surpass yourself and become stronger. In the face of your infinite sit-ups, Master Kaido taught you everything. 
In countless times of thunderous gossip in different patterns, your body has been tempered, the three-color domineering has been improved, and the domineering domineering has crossed a class. The seven days were fleeting, and it was already late at night when Mr. Three finished Mr. Kaido's domineering lecture and returned to the residence of Kale Bali from the strange dimension. With the blessing of the Eternal Wax Museum, even after experiencing Kaido's ruthless beating, Mr. Three's physical and mental state at this time have not been affected too much, and he is even a little active. With excitement and anticipation, Mr. Three recalled the system panel deep in his mind. The strongest emperor subsystem, host, Mr. Three. Appearance. Charm of personality, 85, physical quality, S. Lucky value. C plus S. The clown buggy camp has its own buff, which will disappear when you leave. Abilities. Waxy fruit, awakened, to be broken through, armed domineering, advanced liuying, knowledge colored domineering, powerful plus, overlord colored domineering, powerful plus. Through the information panel, you can clearly see the remarkable results of this domineering lecture. Whether it is an S level physical fitness that has reached the general candidate level, or an advanced armed color that has realized the flow of domineering and attacks in the air, Ryu Sakura is another name for the armed color in Wano country, and the two are not related to each other. Even the knowledgeable domineering has been improved in a small stage. It's a pity that the domineering domineering color has only become more fierce and domineering, and has not yet entered the advanced stage of tyrannical entanglement. But in any case, this multifaceted improvement is really amazing. The flowing armed domineering is indeed very strong. In this case, even if you don't use the fruit ability, just relying on your physical strength is enough to deal with many situations. Mr. Three raised his right arm, and as he thought, the armed domineering color was activated immediately, turning his whole body into a solid state of pitch black. Then, as if there was a special effect of cherry blossoms flying, the more powerful armed domineering surged like a flowing liquid, covering the jet black arms. Mr. Three looked around, looking for something suitable to try out the power of this move. It's a pity that the room is full of ordinary furniture such as tables, chairs and wooden cabinets, which will break when touched, so there is no value for experimentation. Wall of Candles. In the end, you still have to use the ability of Wawa Fruit to create a solid wall of dark grey candles. Mr. Three stood in a good posture and punched violently at the candle wall. Boom. Before the fist edge directly touched the candle wall, the flowing domineering energy was concentrated and exploded at one point like an air bomb. The powerful and domineering power bloomed, instantly cracking the candle wall, which is second only to diamond in hardness, and shattered to pieces a few seconds later. Looking at the shattered candles, Mr. Three nodded in satisfaction. This is only the domineering aggressiveness of the advanced armed color. If it is used to protect itself, combined with the already hard candle armor, its defense will reach a very abnormal level. Moreover, in this domineering lecture hall, after countless times of use, he can already control the wings of liberty with ease, and sky battles are not a problem. It's just that this thing is unexpected and quite exhausting. On the other hand, the development of new moves about the Eternal Wax Museum is also going well. Taken together, it should be said that it is worthy of being the teacher of Baishi Kaido, the teaching quality is simply terrible. Of course, being a permanent wax museum with unlimited sit-up capability also plays a vital role in minimizing rest and recovery time. Feeling the power constantly gushing out of his body, Mr. Three couldn't help showing a look of excitement on his face. Now if he faces Katakori again, even if he doesn't use the bug level ability of the Eternal Wax Museum, he will definitely be invincible. At dawn the next day, the sleeping Mr. Three was awakened by a gentle knock on the door. Third brother, third brother, are you awake? The news about the promotion city has been released. Chairman Buggy and the others are waiting for you in the conference room. Ayasha stood in front of the door, revealing a section of slender fair legs and black punk attire to form a strong visual impact, quite attractive. Um, Mr. Three stretched, and slowly woke up from his sleep. Sitting on the edge of the bed in a daze for a few seconds, after waking up, he stood up in his pajamas and opened the door. Good morning third brother. Ayasha straightened her waist and greeted her respectfully. Good morning. Mr. Three originally wanted to say that there is no need to be so serious and upright, but thinking of this guy's respectful attitude that would not change no matter what he said, he simply let her do it. What did the newspapers say? Mr. Three asked aloud as he walked into the house. According to the content of the newspaper, what the Grand Navy said to the outside world is that due to the carelessness of the temporary workers in charge of daily maintenance in the promotion city, they missed the repair and reinforcement of a certain key wall. It happened that this location was hit by a crazy sea king. It caused the outer walls to crumble and the seawater to pour in. Although the director and director tried their best to rescue them, they still let the vicious criminals headed by Doflamingo escape. So far, a relevant reward list has been issued. 
Hearing this, Mr. Three, who had put on his coat, was not surprised, and chuckled lightly. Was it a flood accident? It's really a good reason, but it's too good to let the temporary workers take the blame, isn't it? Sure enough, no matter where they are, temporary workers are a good hand at taking the blame. Third brother, what do you mean by show? Ayasha came from the door with a guilty voice. You can understand it is very powerful. Oh, I see. Mr. Three looked up at Ayasha who was standing on tiptoe at the door, looking inside curiously in her beautiful eyes. After careful consideration, he finally cancelled the decision to let her in, and turned around to walk to the balcony on the other side of the room. After a brief wash, the two soon came to the meeting room of the base camp in Kale Bali. At this time, Buggy, Crocodile and other original Shichibukai were already present. Since it was not a particularly important matter, Hawkeye, who likes to be alone, did not participate, and Hancock also stayed on Blazing Island to deal with the affairs of the new daughter country. Ha ha ha. 3. You came at the right time, and there is good news. As soon as he entered the door, Buggy, who was holding today's newspaper in his hand, regained his spirits and smiled treacherously. Mr. Three had an ominous premonition in an instant. After coming to the conference table and sitting down, Buggy used the ability to split the fruit to pieces, and brought the newspaper in his hand, or to be more precise, the reward list attached to the newspaper, to him. This reward list was added after Ayasha's notification in the past, so she didn't know. After seeing a faint picture of himself in the reward list, Mr. Three's ominous premonition became even stronger. Fuck. What's going on with this shit? Sure enough, after seeing his updated bounty, Mr. Three's eyeballs directly broke through the goggles and burst out of the eye sockets, obviously frightened. Ayasha, who was standing behind her, poked her head out quietly, and when she saw the amount on the reward list, her beautiful eyes instantly turned into star eyes of admiration. Third brother, third brother, your bounty has exceeded 1 billion, it's actually 1.5 billion. Mr. Three retracted his eyeballs and couldn't help but look up, revealing his white eyes. Is this something to be happy about? 1.5 billion. With such a high profile amount of money on his face, how can he follow the path of wretched development behind the scenes? Every minute you go out, you will be targeted by crazy desperados. No wonder Buggy laughed so happily early in the morning. He co authored it because he wanted to see me experience the thrill of being offered a high reward just like him. Let me just say, with the strength of the third brother, how could it be only more than 900 million? Ayasha was still immersed in admiration. It's a good thing that she won't use the fruit ability on Mr. Three, otherwise, she should know how sad her third brother is at this time. Wait, strength? But this sentence can be regarded as a reminder to Mr. Three. Yup. Not only have I awakened the devil fruit ability now, but my physical fitness and three color domineering have also been strengthened at the epic level, I'm afraid he's an egg. The third brother who reacted felt that he could do it again. Hee <laughs> hee, it's only 1.5 billion, and it's still far away. He casually pushed the reward list to the corner of the conference table. Ayasha's eyes were quick and her hands were quick, and she walked along with lightning speed, and after spreading it out, she held it in the palm of her hand like a baby and observed it carefully. A lively little idiot. Oh no, this product was originally. On the opposite side, Buggy, whose eyes were full of anticipation for Mr. Three to show a frightened and frightened expression, saw that he behaved so calmly and calmly, he couldn't help being taken aback, secretly startled. Good guy, but after going out a few times, the acting skills of this bastard Mr. Three have become so good? It was a coincidence that he did not act together with Mr. Three during the previous recruitment of Kiwaha and this time when he made a big fuss in the city. His judgment of Mr. Three's strength was still at the time when he had drawn with Lieutenant General Shittiers. Therefore, it is natural to think that Mr. Three's calm expression after seeing the high reward of 1.5 billion is all, disguised. What about the others? I can't be the only one who has gone up. Mr. Three asked aloud. Ours has not changed. Perhaps Akainu has already guessed that it is you, Mr. Three, who led the operation to advance the city and encircle the Navy headquarters. Crocodile, with his legs crossed, spit out a smoke ring leisurely, his eyes flashed with splendor. If this is the reason, Mr. Three's reward for this update is quite conservative. After all, no matter which pirate group it is, the bounty offered by the wise generals who make suggestions will be more or less bonus, not to mention the fact that Mr. Three after his ability awakening is not weaker than him in terms of strength alone. If Crocodile knew that in just one night, Mr. Three not only rose to a higher level in physical skills and three-color arrogance, but also mastered the high-level Liu Ying arrogance, he would probably be choked by the cigar in his mouth. Sure enough, Sakaski is not that easy to deal with, Mr. Three sighed softly. In the past, Marshal Akainu of the Navy headquarters targeted him, and later, 
there was black beard of the four emperors who wanted to meet with him this situation is really painful well both hurt hey hey even so your bounty is not as high as my own mr three a sinister laugh came from the other side mr three looked up and saw doflamingo in a pink feather coat with an arrogant attitude putting his legs on the conference table in front of him was his own reward list the amount of which was 16 billion people just think that you are a relatively big threat to the world government in terms of strength you are barely a billion mr three said casually he he crocodile immediately let out an inexplicable laugh mr three when i was advancing the city i saw that you were very upset these words really irritated doflamingo who is naturally arrogant he slapped the table and got up shaking his fingers up and down whoosh whoosh in an instant countless invisible threads passed through the space of the conference table and attacked mr three not far away the strange thing is that the silk thread which can easily cut even steel suddenly stopped more than 10 centimeters in front of the skin of mr three's body unable to move forward at all this is doflamingo withdrew the thread abruptly and when he sensed something he looked at the smiling mr three his eyes hidden under the sunglasses were full of fear mr three you bastard crocodile who also saw the clue was also taken aback his calm face was full of astonishment and he almost choked on the smoke from the cigar if you read correctly just now what mr three uses is a very advanced liquid armed color domineering huh what happened buggy's eyes widened in confusion in his sight doflamingo just uttered a harsh word at most he just waved his fingers symbolically why crocodile would show that shocked expression of seeing something extraordinary hmph superfluous rhetoric doflamingo glanced at buggy with a displeased face in his opinion it is impossible for buggy who can control the cross guild not to be able to see the color of advanced weapons the only explanation is that this guy wants to cover up the embarrassing atmosphere after he missed and was deflated through this kind of questioning that is pretending to be crazy so at this moment doflamingo actually has a little more gratitude for buggy in his heart mr three put away the joy of pretending to be successful and asked doflamingo seriously on this topic by the way doflamingo you have already been imprisoned in the city of advancement why did the tianlong people send killers to assassinate you you having read the original manga he naturally knows the secrets held by flamingo most of which are related to the national treasure of the tinlongren or even i am but obviously he can't ask too directly oh are you sure you really want to hear it doflamingo smiled inexplicably and sinisterly on the other side in the admiral's office of the navy headquarters standing in front of the window the yellow ape put his hands in his pockets staring lazily at the sun slowly rising from the coastline outside the window sakaski even if the guy mr three is not less threatening than crocodile and hancock there's no need to pay an extra 600 million out of his own pocket right for him who is used to lying flat and fishing to get his salary the behavior of a kainu is simply unbelievable perusalino you have the nerve to say so Akainu sat on the desk, and even the words he said were full of hot anger of magma. Before, the green cow Fujitora was repelled by Sabo and the army commander in Marie Joa, and even the bear was snatched away by the opponent. Now the yellow monkey who volunteered for the mission failed in the advanced city again, allowing Mr. Three and others to successfully rob Doflamingo and all the big pirates. Now Akainu just feels really tired. That guy Mr. Three is really too cunning. Kazaru spread his hands helplessly. To be honest, he really didn't have the intention of fishing for fish in this matter. From the very beginning, he wanted to catch the other party all at once. It's just that he never expected that Mr. Three would be so bold, even daring to penetrate the city of advancement. Call. Looking at the latest statistics of Mr. Three on the table, Akainu's eyes became more and more fierce. The determination in my heart to arrest this bastard who lost my face became even stronger. While Akainu was tired, Marie Joya and the five old stars gathered together to discuss Doflamingo's escape from prison. If we had known this before, we should have directly ordered to execute Doflamingo. An angry look appeared on the face of one of the five elders. That guy's identity is a bit special. Even we have to consider the many impacts of his execution. What he knows is too important. A rash execution will bring unpredictable risks, and running outside is a ticking time bomb. It's such a worrying guy, if you just stay in the city of advancement, nothing will happen? From the conversations of the five old stars, it is not difficult to see that even though they are extremely united externally, there are still many differences and conflicts of opinion within them. Otherwise, there would not be a contradictory situation where Doflamingo was targeted by the killer and protected by Magellan. Okay, since things have happened, let's adapt accordingly. Besides, wasn't Doflamingo fairly quiet when he was in Dress Rosa? 
That guy is a smart guy, he should know what to say and what not to say. In the end, a relatively calm Wu Laoxing stood up and said in a deep voice, he knows our strength better than anyone else in this world. This sentence successfully ended the increasingly heated topic. However, the quiet atmosphere did not last long. The news from the communication department of the Navy headquarters shocked the five old stars. Through the monitoring of the phone bug, we have successfully detected the location where Emperor Yan Sabo is lurking, and it is in the Kingdom of Lulusha. The Kingdom of Lulusha was the country liberated by the leaders of the previous revolutionary army, and it was also one of the eight kingdoms where turmoil broke out during the World Conference. The Kingdom of Lulusha, where is it? So that's it, what an unlucky man. No, this is his fate. The five old stars who knew the end of the Lulusha kingdom in advance expressed their emotions. This news also reached the ears of Master Yimu who was located in the deepest part of Pengu city, between the flowers. I saw the real king of the world who was above the five old stars staring blankly at the world map in front of him. Afterwards, he slowly raised the pen in his hand, and made a cross on the location of the kingdom of Lulusha. At the same time, not far from the kingdom of Lulusha, the kingdom of Kamabaka where the base camp of the revolutionary army is located. Including the supreme leader Ryu, the core members of the revolutionary army are on the phone with Sabo. Sabo. I'm sorry, I made everyone worry about me. Dragon. Sabo, I'm glad you're alright. Mr. Long, I am not the one who assassinated Cobra. After a brief pause, Sabo said in a very serious tone, I saw something extraordinary in the holy land of Mary Joya. Sabo, who was on the phone, didn't realize at this time that above the kingdom of Lulusha, an extremely large and huge object slowly emerged from the depths of the clouds, covering the early morning sun. The repressed shadow with a terrifying aura instantly enveloped the entire kingdom of Lulusha. The citizens who had just been liberated from the tyranny of the king raised their heads one after another, looking up at the giant above them in horror. Endless terror spread from the heart and spread to the limbs of the body. On the void throne of Pangu City, the position of the king of the world that shouldn't exist in the world, unexpectedly. Hum. Before Sabo finished speaking, the giant in the sky suddenly burst into an extremely intense and burning white light. Dazzling light shone on every corner of the Lulusha kingdom, and even Sabo was taken aback by this sudden change. Before he realized the serious crisis and took countermeasures, sixteen thunder lasers carrying a destructive aura shot down from the huge shadow high in the sky, and smashed hard into the territory of Lulusha kingdom. Boom. The giant fireball that covered the entire kingdom islands lit up the grey sky and rose into the sky mixed with billowing black smoke. The wind was raging, and the sea was churning. The energy that erupted in an instant seemed to tear this world apart. When this sea area gradually returns to calm, the seawater is full of restlessness. Where are there any shadows of islands? The kingdom of Lulusha was completely destroyed in Yim's understatement, and it was completely wiped off the map in the true sense. The power and methods of the king of the world are so terrifying. New world, Kale Bali. The reason why the Tianlong people want to send killers to assassinate me is naturally because they are afraid that their secrets will be leaked out, he he he, it is something that can shock the world. Doflamingo opened his arms arrogantly, and after arousing the interest of Mr. Three and others, he showed a mean smile again. However, we will all die if we say it now, and I will tell you when the Cross Union really has the power to fight against the world government. Just as Wu Laoxing judged, Doflamingo finally didn't have the guts to say that he had obtained relevant information and secrets about the Tianlong people. Seeing this, Mr. Three didn't continue to ask further questions. Although the more information we can learn, the more beneficial it will be to the subsequent development of the Cross Trade Union, but if this completely angers the world government and the Tianlong people, it will definitely be a fatal blow to the Cross Trade Union that still needs to develop steadily. This brief interlude is over. After Miss Bajan, Weevil, and the big pirates on the sixth floor of the Push City entered the arena, and the first mother-in-law of the Push City also came from Blakesing Island, the meeting about the specific arrangement between Doflamingo and the prisoners in the Push City officially started. This kind of matter does not require Mr. Three to intervene, and it is not suitable for him to host, so he just sat in the corner and sipped the strong tea made by Ayasha. Of course, in addition to refilling tea for the third brother, Ayasha still has tasks that have been arranged before. That is to secretly eliminate Weevil's malice towards the Cross Union and transfer it to Mrs. Bacon. After all, everyone was recruited from the Cross Union and belonged to subordinates, so the meeting went smoothly. Considering Doflamingo's original influence and network resources in the underground world, he was appointed as the captain of the 5th Division of the Cross Guild after Weevil. In terms of responsibility, it is naturally about the relationship between the underground world and the operation of the arms trade. As for the other big pirates on the 6th floor, there is no plan to create a new team, but to disperse them among the various teams. 
This arrangement serves two purposes. First, to prevent this group of fellows who also come from advanced city from reporting to the group to keep warm and become independent in the cross union, which will bring unnecessary trouble to the later management. Second, they are powerful and can strengthen the overall combat capabilities of each team. The rich experience and experience in the new world can also help the various teams of the cross union, which is still in the development stage, avoid detours and approach maturity as soon as possible. As for the fifth tier prisoners whose strength and experience cannot be compared with theirs, the allocation is much simpler, and there are positions waiting for them casually. The more role of this group of people is still similar to the billion dollar mercenaries of Buggy Express, responsible for supporting the mid range combat power of the Cross Union. Of course, this is only a preliminary plan in the general direction. Specific details, such as who goes to which team, still need to be analyzed and discussed in detail. During the meeting, Morgans, the president of News of the World, took the initiative to call. Knowing some of the inside story from the Navy headquarters, his goal is very clear, that is, he wants to ask the Cross Union about the truth about the flooded Advanced City. After all, the prisoners who escaped from Advanced City have basically confirmed that all of them have joined the Cross Union. No matter how much the Navy blocks the news, anyone with a discerning eye can see through the tricks. It's a pity that Mr. Three, who had already decided to keep a low profile, prevaricated with the excuse that they were all attracted by the fame of the Cross Union. Knowing how terrifying the lethality of news and public opinion is, he then added a beautiful sentence. I would like to thank President Morgans for his help in the past few news reports. Otherwise, the Cross Union would not have the fame it is now. If there is an opportunity to come to Kale Bali as a guest, President Buggy and I will definitely welcome it. Being able to become the president of a news newspaper, Morgans is naturally not a dull person. After roughly guessing the concerns of the Cross Union, he didn't continue to ask, and replied with the same polite words, maintaining a good cooperative relationship between the two parties. He is looking forward to it and firmly believes that there will be even more exciting news coming out of the Cross Union. Compared with this, the Booster City incident is not particularly important, it is dispensable. After answering the call from Morgans, Mr. Three continued to listen to the boring meeting, really wanting to sleep. So, he simply left early, took out his sea bike, and headed to Blazing Island where Hancock was. As early as last night, after the domineering color of the Overlord was upgraded, he really wanted to try to see how far his Overlord color, which is now powerful plus, is far from Hancock. Although the chance is not great, if you can complete the side mission, Hancock's Conviction, by the way, that would be quite good. The remaining Shichibuka I still have Blackbeard, Moonlight Mariah, Trafalgaro, Bartholomew Bear, Jinbei, and Hawkeye. The difficulty of recruiting these people is undoubtedly quite huge. Moria, the only one with a high success rate, is controlled by the Blackbeard Pirates. Without the right timing and careful planning, it is impossible to recruit. Therefore, Mr. Three decided to put aside the recruitment matter first, and try to see if he can complete the system's branch goals. At the same time, taking advantage of this free period, it is necessary to find an ally with top combat power for the Cross Union, or to be precise, a guardian. There is only one eagle eye who acts alone. To be honest, the situation where he is being targeted by both Chinu and Blackbeard at the same time does not provide him with enough sense of security. As for this guardian, Mr. Three already has a candidate in mind. This person just happens to have a good relationship with Hancock. Although alone, this sea ride is not boring. Occasionally, lifeless sea beasts would appear to be beaten, and groups of penguins would appear in front of the road to block the way. When you are lucky, you may see a sexy mermaid lying on the reef basking in the sun when passing by the coral group. In this way, Mr. Three, looking at the countless sea scenery in the New World, leisurely came to Blakesing Island, which is the new daughter island. Ding. This sea ride is over, and the overall strength has been slightly enhanced. The current sea bike black car refining progress, 15%. The system prompt sound from the back of his mind made Mr. Three a little astonished. For the same journey, compared to the last time with Ayasha, the progress of the black car has improved so much faster. After a brief thought, he figured out the reason. The decisive factor for turning into a black car is the strength of the armed color, in addition to the length of riding exercise. He has now mastered the high-level armed color, and under the cover and nourishment, the progress of the black car will naturally increase. I don't know what wonderful changes will happen after this progress reaches, 100%. After pondering for a few seconds, Mr. Three put this thought behind him, it's still early. Led by the female warrior of Blakesing Island, he soon came to the new Nine Snake Palace where Hancock was. Mr. Three, the concubine made it very clear last time, right? Any man, even the cadres and presidents of the Cross Union, who wants to enter this island must obtain the permission of his concubine. Although Hancock, 
who was wearing a purple Changsam and sitting on the main seat, did not drive away Mr. Three, he still showed a rather displeased expression. Hancock, last time we fought, you beat me hard. In this regard, Mr. Three, whose strength has greatly increased, raised his head and chest, full of confidence from head to toe, without too much nonsense. Seeing that there were only two sisters, Sandersonia and Marigold, and no other subordinates around, he looked directly at Hancock's moving eyes, and his tone was extremely arrogant. So this time, are you going to take the initiative to stick your head in, or should I do it myself? Feeling the fighting spirit surging from Mr. Three, the sullen Hancock slowly stood up from the pink boa constrictor, revealing a perfect and proud figure. If you think that you can defeat the concubine by awakening the mere fruit ability, then you will die a miserable death, Mr. Three. After the operation to advance the city, she heard about Mr. Three's fruit ability awakening from Ayasha. This cute little sister is good everywhere, but she praises Mr. Three all the time, which makes her feel very headache. Whether you can win or not, you will know after one fight. Mr. Three smiled lightly. In the next second, with a buzz, countless dark red lightning surrounded him, his eyes narrowed slightly, and the powerful domineering aura burst out with a sense of terror and oppression. This arrogance. The moment he felt Mr. Three's domineering aura that shook even his heart, the calmness and calmness on Hancock's pretty face disappeared. Instead, it was so intense that it was unbelievable. It's not like she hasn't felt a more powerful domineering than this, whether it's Whitebeard or Pluto Rayleigh. But in just over ten days, he has cultivated his domineering aura to such an extent that even she is terrified, not to mention Raleigh the White Beard, even Roger, the Pirate King, can't do it, right? Mr. Three, what kind of monster are you? Hancock stared at Mr. Three who was at the center of the overlord-colored explosion, and the depths of his beautiful eyes flashed with an unusually fierce brilliance. The purple Chong Sam she was wearing fluttered a little bit, and as the slender legs stepped out, a strong impact suddenly erupted. Sizzle sizzle. Dense dark red lightning spread all over Hancock's body, and the domineering arrogance that changed the color of the world was blooming like a thunder. Facing Mr. Three at this moment, Hancock did his best for the first time, bursting out with the strongest arrogance he could use. Boom. The crimson domineering and gray white domineering collided in midair, fighting against each other, bursting into endless storms. Evenly matched. What? The third brother, he actually resisted the domineering sister who exploded with all his might. When I was in Amazon Lily before, his domineering was obviously far from reaching this level. Sandersonia and Marigold, who were behind Hancock, retreated again and again, all showing extremely horrified expressions. Even for them, in this level of overbearing domineering collision, it is difficult to maintain absolute clarity of mind and will, and bursts of trance rush to the brain. This is not suitable for fighting. Go to the back of the island, I will use my strength to step on you hard, Mr. Three. Hancock's eyes were cold. Ha ha, it's exactly what I want, Mr. Three laughed loudly. At the same time, both sides withdrew the evenly matched domineering look. The real battle is about to begin. On the back of Blazing Island, there is an open plain. Mr. Three and Hancock were several meters away, facing each other. Mr. Three, to be honest, the growth rate of your domineering look is really unimaginable. Hancock spoke first, and the sexy purple Chong Sam fluttered in the sea breeze, just like her heart that could not keep calm at this moment. As a strong person who had awakened the domineering overlord color many years ago, she knew how difficult it was to cultivate the overlord color, and it required great efforts. On this basis, one must have an invincible state of mind and super talent blessings, in order to have the opportunity to enhance this innate ability to the extreme, and become the symbol of the strongest, the overlord color entanglement. The reason why she has not broken through to this level is because the shadow of Tinlongren still remains in the depths of her consciousness, and she cannot completely walk out of that desperate nightmare. Without the state of mind of a king who is fearless and fearless, it is naturally difficult to improve the domineering look and arrogance by leaps and bounds. And Mr. Three's domineering look has been awakened to this level for more than ten days, one can imagine how strong his mentality is. The more Hancock thought about it, the more frightened he became, and he couldn't help but began to suspect that Mr. Three standing in front of him not only concealed part of his strength, but even concealed his arrogance. In the era of big pirates where the strong are like clouds, a man who can endure to such an extent is not to say that such a man is not scary. And more importantly, such a man would willingly stay by Buggy the Clown. Isn't Buggy the Clown? Against the background of Mr. Three, even an arrogant and strong man like Hancock can't resist the thoughts of self-imagining. It can only be said that Buggy's self-contained domineering brain color is really against the sky. If it's just the domineering look that makes you so shocked, then don't be dumbfounded, Hancock. Unlike Hancock's shock hidden under his indifferent expression, Mr. Three is calm on the outside, 
analyzing Hancock's domineering level while talking. Just now their overlord color collision was evenly matched. Although Hancock was slightly stronger, the gap was basically negligible. That is to say, judging by the level of the system, Hancock's overlord color domineering should be in a strong plus plus state, which is only one step away from the overlord color entanglement. This is completely in line with what she said before, that she was just a little bit away from comprehending tyranny. It seems that I must let you re-understand the strength of the concubine. Hancock's icy eyes burst out with fierce fighting intent, and he stepped forward with his calf in high heels. Whoosh! The purple shadow flickered, and Hancock, who was still in place one second, appeared next to Mr. Three in the next second. The delicate white calf is covered with jet black armed domineering, sweeping down with an arrogance of crushing steel. A red light flashed in Mr. Three's eyes. Having experienced Hancock's powerful physical skills, he didn't dare to overdo it. He clenched his right fist and directly used the high level Liu Ying that he had just mastered. Accompanied by a loud boom, the front of the fist and the pitch black high heeled shoes savagely collided, and the shock wave exploded spread in all directions, even the solid ground was instantly lifted. Advanced armed color in a fluid form. Hancock, who kept raising his leg and kicking, was secretly startled. This is not like the moves that Mr. Three could use a few days ago, is this his reliance? In order to test the limits of Mr. Three, Hancock's long legs suddenly exerted strength, and the armed domineering covering them began to surge like a stream, converging on the tip of the shoe. Of course, as the current king of the Amazon lily with the per capita armed color, Hancock has long mastered the advanced usage of this armed color. Moreover, whether it is the strength of advanced armed colors, experience in use, or pure leg strength, she must surpass Mr. Three who has just started. It's sizzling. The jet black high heeled shoes took the lead to break the deadlock, pressing down on Mr. Three's fist and pushing it towards Mr. Three's chest little by little. The heavy pressure like a mountain came from the fist, shaking Mr. Three's entire arm trembling slightly. This power is really as domineering as I imagined, it is worthy of being the pirate empress. Mr. Three clenched his teeth, even with all his strength, he couldn't push the attack back. His arms couldn't twist his thighs. In terms of physical strength alone, he was not as good as Hancock. What's more, what is resisting with one hand is not a simple thigh, but a super long leg. Boom. In the end, Hancock's brute force broke out completely, kicking Mr. Three hundreds of meters away, smashing countless trees along the way, and crashing into a huge rock. Thick smoke billowed, and a 10 meter passage full of broken branches and trees was revealed. Mr. Three stood amidst the smoke and dust, with candle crumbs constantly falling from his arms and chest. Although the movement just now was loud, he who used candles to defend himself at the critical moment did not suffer any harm, and even the clothes on his body were waxed to avoid getting dirty. According to the law of smoke without injury, this is a matter of course. During the battle with the concubine, you still care about the cleanliness of your clothes. Mr. Three, you are too confident, right? Aromatic feet. A cold voice came from in front of him, and the long and slender legs broke through the dust in the sky. On top of the domineering black armed color as always, there is also a faint pink halo. The speed of its attack seems to have exceeded Mr. Three's reaction limit. He just stood there, watching the high heels rapidly growing in his pupils. Snapped. A powerful kick kicked Mr. Three's side face firmly, and the ability of the sweet fruit was activated, half of his cheek was petrified, and it was shattered in the ensuing impact. Mr. Three was kicked into a rock like this, of course not. The field unfolds, candle purgatory. A deep voice came from behind the huge rock, Hancock's eyes moved slightly, and saw the extremely hard and solid rock in front of him loosen for a while, and it melted into candles at a speed visible to the naked eye. In an instant, a mighty giant candle fist was formed, whistling and swung forward. Hancock jumped back lightly, avoiding the attack of the giant candle fist lightly. Puff. A strange touch came from the ground, and when she looked down, at some point, the surrounding land had turned into a gray lake of candles. Don't get me wrong, Hancock, I don't dare to hold you accountable against you. Mr. Three stood proudly in the center of the candle lake, surrounded by candles, like the master of this area. Manipulating the wax figure, waxing the earth, is this the move after your fruit ability is awakened? Hancock nibbled his fingernails, looking at the gray and white surroundings and fell into thought. Having seen Candle Purgatory several times, she is not too worried about her current situation. As a superhuman, she is more interested in the awakening of this kind of fruit ability. This is the power system that she has been silent for many years, except for the overlord entanglement, which she cares about most. Interesting. Let me crush your power. Hancock began to sprint in the lake of candles, his feet with the fruit ability took every step, and the candles he passed were petrified. 
Her speed was so fast that she appeared in front of Mr. Three in the blink of an eye. Candlewall. At the same time Hancock attacks, Mr. Three's backhand creates a huge wall of candles in front of him. His knowledgeable domineering aura has not yet reached the level of foreseeing the future, but it is definitely much stronger than when he was advancing the city. Boom. A palpitating muffled sound came from the front, and the huge and solid candle wall was deformed by Hancock's kick, and then turned into a fragile stone wall, shattered and wiped out. While the candle wall was blocking Hancock's attack, Mr. Three gave birth to a candle skate, and after quickly distanced himself from it, he stomped heavily on the ground with his feet. Hum. The solid ground instantly waxed, protruding and elongating as if it had the characteristics of life, and turned into a giant candle curtain up to 30 meters high. Candle King's Treasure. Standing on the top of the giant candle screen, Mr. Three waved his hands, and all kinds of candle weapons appeared on the surface of the candle screen. Candle Battle Axe, Candle Sword, Candle Hammer, Candle Hoe, Candle Sickle. Since it wasn't after the awakening of the fruit ability, the dark grey candle with the blasting attribute was added, so Mr. Three is quite easy to use, and it doesn't want to be so difficult to collide with Kazaru's Bachi Chong Guyu last time. Whoosh whoosh. Hancock had just broken through the wall of candles, and he was greeted by overwhelming candle weapons. She stopped abruptly, put two fingers together on her vermilion lips, and pulled out a huge pink heart. Captive Arrow. Hancock is tall and straight, holding a pink love heart in one hand, pulling out a pink bowstring with the other hand, and shooting countless dense heart arrows. Puff 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 puff. The moment the mighty candle weapon and the love arrow came into contact in midair, they were petrified without exception. It was obviously a dead thing but it lost itself like falling in love, lost all its energy and fell towards the opposite side, shattered into stone chips all over the ground. This is the unsolvable part of Hancock's fruit ability, which has the effect of charming all things. If you don't pay attention, even the four emperors will be deflated. Whoosh. After disposing of the candle weapon, Hancock moved quickly, turning into a purple afterimage passing through the sky full of stone chips, and in the blink of an eye, he came to the bottom of the giant candle screen. Mr. Three looked down subconsciously, and then was taken aback. I saw Hancock directly raised his leg and stepped on the huge vertical candle curtain, running on the surface with a very sturdy posture as if walking on the ground, and rushed to the top in an instant. In midair, she rotated her body 360 degrees, her black hair danced along with the waves, and she sprinkled a unique fragrance. The aura of the unparalleled Yuji is directly full. As a womanizer, Mr. Three widened his eyes, looking a little lost in thought. It's a pity that the good times didn't last long. In the next second, Hancock's attack that had completed charging suddenly fell. Big fragrant feet. What the fuck? A strong sense of crisis came to his face, and Mr. Three recovered his senses and hurriedly raised his right arm, spewing off white candles to form a giant fist. Candle flame breathing. His reflexes were fairly sharp, but it was obvious that Hancock's speed was even faster. Before the flame breathing energy of the candle had time to erupt, the red high heeled shoes arrived first. Boom. At the moment of contact, the surging candle on Mr. Three's right arm suddenly stagnated and turned into an earth gray stone. Hancock, who had seen the power of this move before, smiled lightly, exerted strength on his legs, and was about to kick Mr. Three away, but he did not expect the petrified candle to return to its original appearance. Layer upon layer, a dark gray wax liquid containing terrifying energy seeped out. Awakened power. Hancock's pupils shrank, and his vision was immediately engulfed by the scalding fire and heat. Boom. Mr. Three threw out a punch with all his might. The explosive characteristic of the dark gray candle exploded, forming an extremely domineering shockwave that knocked Hancock into the air, and smashed it heavily into the candle purgatory below. Hancock rolled a few times in the air, while losing his strength, he also threw away the hot candle stuck to his body. However, Mr. Three's attacks did not stop there. I saw him bending down slightly, pressing his hands on the giant candle screen. The precise control force is transmitted to the entire candle lake, making it restless and turbulent. Hancock, try this trick. Wax burial. After the voice fell, the candle lake with a diameter of more than 50 meters rotated and gathered around Hancock. A wave of candles rising from the edge like a tablecloth blocks out the sunlight, bringing an oppressive gloom. In the blink of an eye, the tiny Hancock was completely submerged, firmly locked in the enchantment formed by the candles. Mr. Three's goggles standing on the giant candle screen flickered with a cold light. He held his right hand towards the void, and he held a burning candle spear in his palm. Mr. Three's right arm was bruised, and he threw the flaming spear towards the candle barrier below. Whoosh! The spear pierced through the air and landed on the candles all over the floor. In an instant, 
the flames soared into the sky and ignited a raging flame. Elder Sister. Lord Snake Princess. The scalding heat wave flooded the entire plain. Sandersonia and Marigold, who were standing on the distant hills watching the battle, and the members of the Nine Snakes who heard the news were all shocked. After witnessing the whole battle process, it was hard for them to believe that Mr. Three was able to gain the upper hand and fight against the sister, Master Snake Lady, who was doing her best. Boom. 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 When they were worried and worried, there was one muffled sound after another from the burning candle enchantment. Countless candles and gravel flew in the impact, and with the last muffled sound, the entire candle barrier was shattered. Hancock stretched his long legs and walked among the candlelight everywhere. Even after suffering that level of attack, her breathing was still steady without any disturbance. On the contrary, the purple Chong Sam on his body was greatly damaged, and most of it was burned by the flames, exposing his snow white skin. How could Mr. Three be able to hold on to such a scene? His eyes and goggles jumped out with red hearts. Is there a flaw? Sweet and sweet wind. Hancock seized the momentary gap and raised his hands in a heart gesture. The pink light passed through the unprepared Mr. Three, petrified it without any accident, and became a stone statue standing on the giant candle screen. Whoosh. The high sea breeze blows, and the stone statue transformed by Mr. Three slides down along the smooth surface of the candle. Seeing that he was about to fall to the ground and be smashed to pieces, the expressionless Hancock raised his hand and snapped his fingers. With a snap, Mr. Three turned back into flesh and blood, and fell heavily on the ground made of soft candles. Mr. Three, with your current strength, you can completely avoid the sweet light of my body, why do you want to take it head on? Hancock walked in front of him, holding his slender waist with one hand, doubts deep in his beautiful eyes. Whether it is jumping away, or covering the body with a candle coat like before, in her opinion, as long as Mr. Three is willing, there are many ways to avoid the sweet wind. Mr. Three, who was lying on the ground, raised his head, and saw Hancock in a state of bursting clothes. Then, just about to stand up, he continued to maintain this posture without moving. Aha! Aha ha! It doesn't matter if you hide or not, the main thing is I want to try and see if I can bear it. If it was in a life and death struggle, he would naturally not joke about his own life so casually. But now it's just a discussion, you can be a little more willful. Moreover, the reason why he wants to challenge Hancock is mainly because he wants to try his improved S-level physical skills, and by the way, pretend to be a little bit aggressive. Under such circumstances, it is definitely impossible to fight Hancock with all the strength and all the cards, there are so many fighters of the Nine Snakes gathered around, and the impact of trampling Hancock under their feet in front of them is really a bit big. He firmly believes that he has this ability at this time. So like now, it is the best choice to find a step to end the battle after pretending to be aggressive. Although doing so would damage his tall, mighty and invincible image in the eyes of the Sisters of the Nine Snakes, it doesn't matter if the opponent is Hancock. In front of my concubine's beauty, do I still need to try this kind of thing? Hancock snorted coldly, glanced at Mr. Three, and said in the tone of someone who has experienced it, if you are so careless in a highly tense battle, you will die miserably if you are not careful. It doesn't matter, anyway, Hancock, you are a reliable partner. Mr. Three exercised his muscles and bones, sat on the candle floor, and looked at Hancock with a smile on his face. Don't be too self-righteous. In the eyes of my concubine, you are no different from the humble ants on the side of the road. Hancock turned around, but couldn't see her expression at this moment, just judging from her tone, she was as arrogant and domineering as ever. Ah yes yes yes. Mr. Three didn't listen to Hancock's words. This is the attitude that the pirate empress should have, isn't it? The atmosphere has reached this point, and the two sides naturally have no intention of continuing to fight. After being silent for a few seconds, Mr. Three recalled the scene of the battle just now, and said slowly, Hancock, from the battle just now, I think your fruit ability can be dug deeper. Hearing this, Hancock turned around again, and the smile remaining at the corner of his mouth was fleeting. Do you have any suggestions? She asked seriously. Although arrogance and arrogance have been carved into her bones, she has to have admiration for Mr. Three when it comes to the opening of the fruit ability. The flame breathing candle, the sea bike, the field, the small sun, including the sky filled weapons just shown, no matter which one is the perfect embodiment of his fruitful ability development. Your physical skills are undoubtedly powerful, and you can add petrification effects to your kicks, so. Mr. Three pondered for a while, and then said, Just like the armed color, can you build a pink halo on the surface of the body to form a coat? While enhancing the power of all moves, it also defends itself, which can make the opponent feel worried and dare not attack rashly. The strong fight against the heart is the most important thing. If Hancock can really achieve this sweet coat, 
then at least in the field of close combat, she will have a very exaggerated advantage. Sweet coat, huh? The simple proposal gave Hancock a sense of clarity. Her main means of attack are the fruit ability charm, physical skills and domineering. The previous fighting style is that the three complement each other and match each other. I never imagined what it would be like to combine these three forces together. It's really a good suggestion. Hancock nodded, and said blankly, that guy Buggy is right, your pig's brain is really useful sometimes. Mr. Three. Is this how you treat people who give you inspiration? Seeing Mr. Three's speechless expression, Hancock crossed his arms and said, I'll try to develop this move later. It's you, you came here early in the morning, you probably didn't just want to fight with me, did you? From Hancock's point of view, Mr. Three is not the type to do nonsense. I really have something to do with you. Mr. Three, who was squatting on the ground, stood up, looked at Hancock's undressed state at this time, and suggested, it's not convenient to talk here, let's talk in the Nine Snakes Palace. No problem. Hancock himself doesn't care much about such insignificant things. In this way, together with Sandersonia and Marigold who were watching the battle from a distance, the two who had finished the battle returned to the magnificently decorated palace. After half an hour, Hancock, who changed into a new set of black and white shirts, sat on the pink boa constrictor, propped his head on one hand, and let his black hair hang down. Tell me, what's the specific matter? She asked Mr. Three. Mr. Three adjusted his goggles, and after sorting out his thoughts, he said in a deep voice. Hancock, as far as I know, your relationship with Raleigh should be pretty good, right? That's right, the guardian of the cross guild he was looking for was none other than Roger's vice captain, Raleigh the Hades. Perhaps the old Rayleigh is physically unable to support continuous high intensity battles, but Pluto's strength and fame lie there. Whether it is to deter Blackbeard, Red Dog, and other powerful forces, or to attract more powerful people to join the cross union, it can play an extremely important role. He even only needs to make a public announcement, and he doesn't need to do much to give the cross union asylum. And with the relationship between Buggy and Hancock, it shouldn't be difficult to convince Raleigh. Rayleigh, it seems that you all know this. Hancock was obviously surprised, wondering why Mr. Three suddenly mentioned Rayleigh. Although she had doubts in her heart, she did not hide that she already regarded Mr. Three as a companion, I have a very good relationship with Rayleigh and the former Emperor Shaki of Amazon Lily. Or to be precise, they are the saviors of our three sisters. Hearing this, Mr. Three nodded thoughtfully. In this case, I would like to ask you to go with Buggy to find. Wait. In the middle of speaking, he was obviously stunned for a moment. What did you just say? Shaki is the former emperor of Amazon Lily? Hancock frowned slightly, and asked in doubt, as the captain of the former Nine Snake Pirates, isn't it a matter of course that Shaki served as the emperor of Amazon Lily? It turns out that when she said, I know even this, she was referring to this matter. After sorting out many details, Mr. Three, who had read the original work, suddenly felt that everything could be connected. No wonder Laylee and Shaki rescued the three Boya sisters who escaped from Marie Joya many years ago. No wonder Laylee, who is a man, can freely enter and leave the island of Hydra, and has a very good relationship with the three Boya sisters. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, that's true. Mr. Three scratched his head, and let out a few awkward but polite chuckles. This wave is a crooked attack, and we have obtained very useful information. So, what do you want to do with Rayleigh? Hancock asked curiously, ignoring his awkward smile. Is such that, Mr. Three didn't beat around the bush, but briefly talked about the Guardian's plan. It turns out that with Raleigh's support, many of our follow-up actions can indeed be much easier. Speaking of this, Hancock frowned slightly, and pondered, it's just that Raleigh announced his retirement many years ago, so it's hard to persuade him to come out now. After all the members of Daughter Kingdom evacuated Amazon Lily, she got in touch with Rayleigh Shaki through the phone bug and told about the current situation of the new Daughter Kingdom. I also know that after learning that the Navy was besieging the Daughter Country, Rayleigh set off from the shore of the Chambord Islands to protect the Daughter Country. It's just that when he reached the Amazon Lily with breaststroke all the way, Mr. Three had already picked up all the people in advance, leaving him empty-handed. It's not all empty, he ran into the Blackbeard pirates who wanted to steal chickens. Of course, there was no conflict between the two sides at the time. It doesn't matter, as long as he expresses his position publicly, Mr. Three said understandingly. Two years ago, Rayleigh escorted Luffy to the Navy headquarters and passed on the secret signal of, see you in two years, to other partners, which itself is a kind of public support. Therefore, as long as Hancock spoke to Buggy, Raleigh would probably not refuse. What's more, Daughter's country is almost bound to the Cross Union now. I will do my best. Hancock, who was well aware of the current situation of the Cross Union, nodded slightly, agreeing to the matter. 
In order to protect themselves, Buggy and Mr. Three would not hesitate to gamble their entire business and declare war on Blackbeard. Although it also has the meaning of gathering the hearts of the Crusaders, their determination and attitude can explain more problems in themselves. If the person Blackbeard wants is Weevil, these two insidious and cunning guys will definitely tie Weevil to the door without hesitation in order to obtain the benefits of Moria and the underground world. There will even be a Miss Bacon as a gift, Hancock thinks so firmly. Speaking of which, I also want to see Rayleigh and Shaki a little bit. Hancock's beautiful eyes filled with undisguised longing. There are too many things that have happened in the past ten days, and she desperately wants to tell someone she can rely on. In front of outsiders and even close peers, it is impossible for the pirate empress to snuggle up to others like a little girl. In this case, after the new members are properly arranged and the situation is stable, we will set off for Chambord, Mr. Three said after a brief thought. Okay. Hancock nodded in agreement. While they were chatting, this morning's latest papers had spread to all corners of the New World. The flooding of the city and the joining of Doflamingo and other prisoners into the Cross Guild have sparked countless discussions among the pirate groups. Some believed the announcement from the world government, some believed that the Crusaders had attacked Advanced City, and some believed that the Navy had reached a deal with Doflamingo and deliberately released the undercover Crusades conspiracy theory. There are different opinions, and even the underground world, which has always been hidden and low key, caused an uproar because of this. After all, the former king, Doflamingo, is back. Just as Doflamingo expected when he was reading the newspaper in Advanced City, the already chaotic era became more turbulent and crazy because of his joining. No matter what the result is, the only thing that is certain is that the Cross Union has made a fortune this time. Aside from the influence of Doflamingo and the sixth tier prisoners in the New World, many pirates who had previously remained neutral or relatively independent have successively applied to join the Cross Union, hoping to seek a growing force. Asylum of the New Four Emperors. For this, the Cross Trade Union naturally welcomed it, except for a small number of people with bad reputations, and basically accepted everything as it was ordered. Of course, only ordinary pirates who are famous and can be used as cannon fodder. They don't have access to the upper echelon of the Cross Union, so it doesn't matter. As for the big pirates with a bounty of over million, Ayasha will personally check and detect the possible malice in this group of people. If the maliciousness is ordinary, they will be expelled on the spot. If the malice is too strong, the super thug Weevil will subdue him and put him in prison for careful interrogation. Because of the extremely special existence of Ayasha, the combat power of the Cross Union has been expanded and it has obtained a great security guarantee. This is the fundamental reason why Mr. Three felt that she was an indispensable core member of the Buggy Pirates when he first met Ayasha. After chatting with Hancock, Mr. Three visited the new Nine Snake City, which was almost built, under the leadership of the soldiers who defended the country. During the period, countless young and beautiful female nationals frantically chased after them. They had never seen the outside world, and they were really curious about what kind of creature a man is. Especially after seeing Luffy with a rubber physique with his own eyes. Mr. Three, who is a womanizer, enjoyed it at the beginning, raised his hand and made various small candles, which caused the girls to exclaim. But as time went by, he gradually realized how crazy these girls who had never met other men except Luffy were. Not to mention the business of queuing up to buy tickets to watch. What's more, the candle creations he sent out before were still sold at quite exaggerated prices in the lively auction. In the end, submerged in the crowd of women and unable to extricate himself, he had no choice but to take out his wings of freedom and fly to the sky, only then could he avoid the tragic end of being drowned by the saliva of countless girls. Never thought that the first appearance of Wings of Liberty would be like this. By the time the physically and mentally exhausted Mr. Three returned to Kale Bali by bicycle, it was already sunset in the afternoon. Coincidentally, on the way, I suddenly met Crocodile and Doflamingo. They came to avenge the cooperation of the idiot who pushed the top of the tower. Mr. Three had no choice but to fight this sandline snack combination. Since Crocodile and Doflamingo couldn't use their strength too much in Bali, they left contentedly after playing happily. Only the third brother, a toolman, was left standing in a mess in the wind. Sure enough, there is a price to be paid for pretending to be funny. After going around, I finally came to the base camp full of circus style. Yo, three, you came back from Blazing Island. Buggy, wearing a big red robe, stayed alone in the base camp. After seeing Mr. Three, he excitedly held up the list of new members in his hand, come here quickly, the combat power we received today is very exaggerated. With this strength, plus Buggy Express's mercenary group and Shichibukai, we are completely on our feet. Even if we want to win this world, it probably won't be a problem ha 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 ha. Looking at Buggy's arrogant appearance, Mr. Three knew in an instant that this guy lost himself in the pursuit of his younger brother. 
Let's not talk about this matter for now, the big thing is not good, Buggy. Mr. Three decides to scare and scare the smug idiot. Huh? Buggy cast a puzzled look. Mr. Three showed fear, and said in a trembling voice, The latest news just now, a Kainu and the three generals of the Navy headquarters, leading tens of thousands of elite sailors to form a fleet, are heading towards Kale Bali. Hearing this, Buggy was so frightened that he broke out in a cold sweat, and his whole body was torn apart. What did you say? Treasure, pack up the treasure quickly, let's run away. No, no, let's just run away, it will be too late. PFF ha ha ha. Seeing Buggy's sincere appearance, Mr. Three couldn't hold back his belly laugh. Hearing this extremely cheap laughter, Buggy, who was running into the house in a panic, stopped suddenly. After realizing that he was cheated, he turned around, his face covered with clown makeup was full of ferocity and violence, bastard candleman, you fucking, I will kill you. After all, Buggy held several sharp short knives in his hand, and rushed towards Mr. Three. Mr. Three is naturally true, he took out a huge candle hammer with his backhand, and wrestled with the swollen buggy. After some, fighting, of children playing house. The two with bruised noses and swollen faces sat on the leather sofa, silently eating the fruit on the table. Buggy, to be honest, are you hiding your true strength? Mr. Three asked casually, crossing his legs. Leaving aside the mysterious and mysterious things like brain color domineering, he was indeed a little surprised at Buggy's weakness. Although the fighting power of his youth does not represent the present, there is no doubt that Buggy's strength was indeed comparable to that of Red Hair more than 30 years ago. At that time, as interns on the Roger Pirates, they participated in countless fierce and brutal battles and survived successfully. The world of pirates is far more cruel than imagined, let alone a powerful opponent who can compete with One Piece. One can imagine the danger. Moreover, after the Roger Pirates were disbanded and Roger was publicly executed, Shanks, who had already begun to look like a king, invited the first partner not Beckman, but Buggy. Obviously, at least twenty years ago, Shanks recognized Buggy's strength very much. Even Mr. Three, who has read the original book, has such doubts. No wonder those shrewd pirates with a bounty of over one hundred million will go after Buggy so frantically. Galdino, I can't pretend that I didn't hear that. Buggy, who had a big bag on his head, was not happy at the time, and said arrogantly, What do you mean, is Lao Tzu's current strength very weak? Mr. Three stared into his eyes for a few seconds, really unable to see the truth of this sentence. We've been together for so long, don't I know the strength you've shown so far, why don't you just piss and take care of yourself? He sighed. Bastard. Even so, you are not far behind me, what is so superior? Buggy retorted with an unhappy face. Naturally, he probably heard about Mr. Three's heroic deeds from other prisoners. But as the biggest beneficiary of the domineering brain color, he still prefers to believe that Mr. Three only became famous with the help of the Devil Fruit ability and the help of Crocodile and Katakori. As Mr. Three said, they have been together for two and a half years, and they are quite clear about each other's details. A few days ago, he was barely able to draw with Lieutenant Admiral Shi TIC, and a few days later he was strong enough to compete with Magellan, and even the Admiral of the Navy Headquarters, Kazaru, this kind of thing is unbelievable. Ha ha. Mr. Three sneered, adjusted his goggles, and had no intention of proving his strength. It is completely meaningless to do so, and according to the current situation, the possibility that Buggy has hidden or sealed his strength cannot be completely ruled out. Maybe Buggy will announce tomorrow that he has awakened the power of the Devil Fruit, and he will perform a world torn apart on the spot. Ahem, of course, this is a joke. But about Buggy's strength, after seeing Rayleigh, he can ask about it by the way. Speaking of which, three, who is the Chi Wuhai we are going to recruit next? Buggy asked suddenly. The actions during this period made him habitually believe that the main direction of Mr. Three's action is to recruit the old and new Kiwahai who were abolished to strengthen their power. If he follows the normal development route, his guess is not wrong. It's a pity that Mr. Three is not the kind of person who completely acts according to the goals given by the system. That's exactly what I was trying to tell you. Mr. Three changed his sitting position, picked up a grape and threw it into his mouth, chewing and said, someone has chosen, but he is not Hara Shichibukai. Ah? In terms of strength and influence, are you qualified? Buggy's eyes were full of doubts. Different from the previous strong outsiders, the current buggy pirates are already very strong, with powerful pirates and vicious criminals joining them at any time. If it wasn't for the original Kiwahe's level, it really wouldn't take much effort to recruit. Pluto Rayleigh's qualifications, is it enough? Mr. Three showed a meaningful smile. Hearing this, Buggy's two eyeballs immediately popped out of their sockets, and he was startled as expected. What did you say? Uncle Rayleigh? 
he really didn't expect that Mr. Three would actually have Rayleigh's idea. It's basically impossible, isn't it? He has already reached retirement age, and. Buggy calmed down and said seriously, he was the vice captain of the pirates before me, how could he be willing to work under me as a cadre? So, we won't recruit this time. Mr. Three told Buggy what he said to Hancock again. I see, in the name of taking care of the younger generation, become the guardian of the Cross Guild. Buggy smiled and agreed with Mr. Three's proposal very much, it's really a good choice. Thinking of Sir Boz Raleigh, the former vice captain, he has always been defiant, and there is even a rare look of admiration and longing in his eyes. Even though he is old, there is no doubt that that man is powerful. Suppressing the expectation of meeting Rayleigh who had been away for many years, Buggy asked aloud, so when are we going to leave? Let's wait a few days until the newly joined pirate forces are on the right track. The conversation between the two ended with Mr. Three waving goodbye. After a tiring day, Mr. Three just wants to take a comfortable bath and lie down on the bed for a good night's sleep. In the next few days, Mr. Three ushered in a very rare leisure time after traveling here. The affairs of the Cross Union are managed by Buggy, Granny Z, and Da Flamingo. As veterans who have been in the New World for many years, they have very rich experience and methods in employing people. Although the new members are a mixed bag and the forces of all parties are messy, they are relatively calm and harmoniously integrated into the various teams of the Cross Union. With the silence of the Cross Guild in the new journey of the Straw Hat Pirates, the New World has become much quieter during this period. Of course, another very important reason for this situation is that the destruction of the Kingdom of Lulusha deterred the Revolutionary Army to a certain extent. A major event similar to the Eight Kingdoms' turmoil did not happen again. The Navy is very happy to see these three forces that are most capable of doing things so peacefully. In this way, they can free up part of their troops to guard the various branches and maintain the order that has become chaotic in the previous major events. Sitting in the Marshal's office, Akainu finally got some relief from his dull and irritable mood after several days of frowning, and he could take the time to sip oolong tea. However, what he never expected was that the tea had only been drunk for a day. In the Shambord Islands, the Clown Buggy and Mr. Three of the Cross Union made another big event that shocked the world. New World, near a sea area in the first half of the Great Channel. A small sloop sailed peacefully, and directly in front of the boat, the Red Earth Continent standing in the thin mist could be vaguely seen. Mr. Three, Buggy and Hancock stood at the bow of the boat, letting the refreshing sea breeze blow on their faces. They are now the famous four emperors in the New World, and all major actions are closely monitored by the Navy. Therefore, in order to avoid unnecessary trouble, they chose the low-key way of traveling disguised as a merchant ship. Sure enough, the relationship between Uncle Rayleigh and Shaki is very unusual. After learning more detailed information from Hancock, Buggy gritted his chin and sighed. Although he has not experienced the Rocks era, he has a relatively deep understanding of those world-famous pirate groups such as the Whitebeard Pirates and the Golden Lion Pirates. Naturally, I also know some things about Shaki, the former captain of the Nine Snake Pirates. The Roger Pirates at that time also had an intersection with them. Unexpectedly, after more than 30 years, the current Nine Snake Pirates merged into his Buggy Pirates. I have to say, the world is really small sometimes. Hey, what's that in front of you? Mr. Three interrupted Buggy's thoughts with surprised words. Looking in the direction of Mr. Three's finger, at the end of the sea level, you can vaguely see a small floating island emitting golden light all over. Conical structure, surrounded by rocks, the special soil on the surface of the mountain exudes a brilliant brilliance like gold. Buggy's eyes widened instantly, as if he recognized the floating island that suddenly appeared in front of him, and his whole body trembled slightly with excitement. There is absolutely nothing wrong, that is, that is the legendary treasure island, the Golden Pyramid. Golden Pyramid of Treasure Island. Why have I never heard of such an island in the New World? Hancock frowned, with a hint of doubt in his beautiful eyes. Although the environment in the New World is extremely harsh and full of unimaginable conditions, if you look at the name alone, it is impossible that the island named after gold will not be discussed and discussed by pirates who are obsessed with treasure. But Hancock, who has been in the New World for many years, has never heard of this island. It's normal that you don't know, because in theory, Treasure Island is not a real island, but like a giant floating ice that will never melt, drifting around the New World. Thinking of the hidden rumors about this island, the fire in Buggy's eyes became even more intense. According to the legend, this is a mysterious island buried with super treasures, which can only be encountered with the purest luck. As a pirate who always implements the concept of treasure hunting, it is obvious that the temptation of Buggy on this treasure island is irresistible. Even though he now owns the Cross Union and has inexhaustible money, but. How could this stop a man from his enthusiasm and belief in finding treasure? 
Then should we move on, or go to that floating island? Hancock asked aloud. Go and have a look, Buggy's eyeballs are covered with gold stars. Mr. Three sighed softly. However, he didn't show much helplessness. As a traveler, he also wants to see the world of pirates, these islands full of wonder and fantasy. It's rare that he has this kind of free time to relax now, without running back and forth like before. Haha, <laughs> little ones, turn the direction for me, aim for Treasure Island. Buggy laughed loudly, and shouted at the boys who were in charge of sailing behind him. He even had a treasure map of Treasure Island in his hand, and he didn't know where he took it out from. Well, it's outrageous. In this way, under Buggy's order, the sails of the small sailboat changed their angles and headed towards Treasure Island. As the distance draws closer, the whole picture of Treasure Island immediately appears in front of Mr. Three. It is the same as its other name, Golden Pyramid, to put it simply and crudely, this is really a pyramid-shaped hill floating on the sea and shrouded in a faint golden halo. It's a pity that when the distance to Treasure Island is still a hundred meters away, the small sailboat has difficulty getting an inch, so it can only drop the anchor on the spot. The surrounding sea area is full of intricate reefs, and the sailboat can be poked out a big hole in minutes by forcing it forward. At this time, it's naturally Mr. Three's turn to pretend, ah no, use the fruit ability to create a road. Ding ding ding. The crisp and loud car bell scared away a group of penguins floating on the sea. Mr. Three rode a sea bicycle leisurely, and the sea surface where the wheels passed automatically generated a candle passage leading to Treasure Island. Buggy was sitting in the back seat, looking out of his head from time to time, with an excited look on his face. As for Hancock, who was not very interested in the so-called treasure hunt, he stayed on the ship and waited, responsible for protecting the integrity of the ship. After all, their disguised merchant ship could easily be targeted by unsightly miscellaneous pirates. What's more, there is Treasure Island, which can be called a large lighthouse, which may attract the passing pirates at any time. Wait, this island has been stuck in this reef waters for a long time. Why is there no conflict with any pirate group nearby, or even a sign of simply docking? Not long after the two of Mr. Three left, Hancock realized this very important issue belatedly. If there is a real treasure, most likely it has been dug away long ago, right? At this time, Mr. Three has already arrived at the edge of Treasure Island by riding a sea bike. His thinking ability and judgment and analysis ability are obviously higher than Hancock's, and he noticed this problem when the sailboat approached. However, the purpose of his trip was just to see this strange island, unlike Buggy who only thought about the treasure, so naturally he didn't care much. As soon as he landed on the island, Buggy spread out the slightly old treasure map in his hand, looking at the map for a while, and the island for a while, looking at the front, back, left, and right for comparison. This look of being immersed in it is several times more serious than when it was held in the Cross Union base camp. Sure enough, treasures are what Buggy is most obsessed with. Suddenly, Mr. Three more or less understood why Buggy was so fierce before, but Buggy is so weak now. Because this guy spends the time of training and becoming stronger on treasure hunting. While feeling emotional, Buggy had already determined the route marked on the treasure map. Under his leadership, the two walked half a circle around the small treasure island. From the side of the pyramid hill, a hidden hole covered with weeds and vines entered, and came to the interior of Treasure Island. In the dark and damp narrow passage, Mr. Three and Buggy walked side by side. Mr. Three held a burning candle torch in his hand, and the warm candlelight illuminated the surrounding space. Buggy continued to study the treasure map, and it was not difficult to see that the location marked on it was in the deepest part of Treasure Island. There are countless passages connected to each other in Treasure Island, intertwined and complicated, forming a closed mountain maze. If there is no guidance from the treasure map, if you want to move freely in this kind of place, it is estimated that you only have to violently destroy all the passages and go straight forward. Of course, this is far from the time of necessity. As the two moved forward, another fork appeared in front of them, and two dark, deep and bottomless passages appeared in the field of vision. Buggy. Where are we going next? Mr. Three asked aloud, not intending to look at the treasure map by himself. He likes this kind of exciting adventure very much, because it is full of a strong sense of adventure. At the same time, I am also looking forward to what the legendary mysterious treasure will look like. Maybe that's the fun of treasure hunting. Of course, the main reason is that he now has the absolute strength to violently flip the table after losing the fun. Left. Buggy raised his finger and pointed to the front left, and said excitedly, if the information on the treasure map is correct, there should be the first treasure ahead. On the route of the final treasure marked on the treasure map, there are other associated small treasures that can be taken along the way. Let's go then. Mr. Three stepped forward without hesitation, heading towards Buggy's finger. In this way, the two walked for a few more minutes in the new closed passage until 
No way out. Hey, buggy, are you looking at the wrong place, you bastard? Looking at the wet mud wall in front of him, Mr. Three's words were full of suspicion and contempt. Unexpectedly, Buggy did not show any panic. Instead, he put away the treasure map confidently and rolled up his sleeves. Hee <laughs> hee, Three, I am not as good as you in terms of strategy, but when it comes to treasure hunting, you are still too young. Buggy explained triumphantly, if you encounter such a small difficulty and turn around and leave, you will never get the legendary treasure in your life. Give me the candle pick and candle shovel, I want to dig this mud wall. Although Mr. Three has considerable doubts about this kind of nonsense, but thinking about it carefully, it seems that ordinary treasure hunting really requires digging and moving stones. Therefore, without any experience in treasure hunting, he cooperated quite well and used the wax fruit ability to manufacture the digging tools that Buggy wanted. Being able to make torches, manuscripts and shovels, sure enough, your ability is perfect for digging treasures, Buggy sighed with emotion. Mr. Three suddenly remembered the plot in the original book, where Buggy and his gang dug treasures to a certain secret base of the navy under the blessing of lucky color and domineering, and then they were imprisoned in the promotion city as a matter of course. Buggy, are you sure there won't be a naval base in front? He asked slightly mockingly. The fucking thing was intentional that time. Ah no, I was arrested on purpose, otherwise why would I accept so many younger brothers in the city? Buggy quibbled without blushing. Hearing these words, Mr. Three, who has always considered himself cheeky, was willing to bow down, imitating the tone of admiration of the younger brothers, and said in a strange way, so that's the case, as expected of President Buggy. Buggy heard the sarcasm in his mouth, but the embarrassment of pirates hunting for treasure and finding a naval base is quite disgraceful no matter how you say it. So, pretending not to hear him, he whistled, took the excavation tool from Mr. Three, and devoted himself to digging the soil very skillfully. The sound of jingling, jingling, chuffing, chuffing echoed in the depths of the dark passage. After a few minutes of hard work, Buggy suddenly realized that something was wrong. He turned his head abruptly, and saw that Mr. Three was lying on a bed of soft candles, with his legs crossed, in a relaxed and leisurely posture. Bastard Galdino, you fucking come over and help. Buggy's eyes were ruthless, even his teeth became jagged, and his saliva was flying everywhere. Huh. Do you need my help? Mr. Three raised his hand and threw out a ball of viscous candle liquid, causing it to twist in the air, forming a low-profile version of the candle shield machine. Buzzing. The cylinder-shaped candle spun its sharp blade, advancing against the dirt wall at an extremely fast speed, digging a nearly one-meter tunnel in the blink of an eye. Looking at the soil constantly being transported from the back of the cylindrical candle, the corner of Buggy's mouth twitched. Your sister did it on purpose, if you have such a thing, don't take it out sooner. You didn't say anything. I thought you were enjoying the treasure digging, Mr. Three said seriously. The four emperor's buggy exploded on the spot. Just when he couldn't help it and wanted to fight Mr. Three, he heard a boom, and the mud wall in front of him collapsed under the excavation of the candle shield machine. Under the illumination of the candlelight, the field of vision instantly widened, and a semicircular space appeared. It was really hit by buggy, is there something in front of this? Mr. Three was very surprised, stood up and was about to walk into the semicircular space to check the situation but a strong and dangerous atmosphere hit him head on. Hiss. A giant spider covered in pitch black and covered in hair sprayed out a thread, hung in the air and approached at a fast speed. However, just when it was about to gnaw on the face of the person in front of it, the off-white candle spewed out first, completely enveloping its huge body. Thump. After a meaningless struggle, the giant spider fell to the ground and soon lost signs of life. Mr. Three clapped his hands and walked in together with Buggy who was in doubt. This is a semicircular space with a diameter of nearly 10 meters and covered with spider silk. There are four or five passages connecting this place there are scattered piles of white bones and skulls scattered around. Obviously, many treasure hunters came here before them, but they were all swallowed alive by that giant spider. Except for the spider silk and white bones, Mr. Three did not find any suspected treasure chests here. It's really an unexpected treasure, treasure hunter. Mr. Three pointed to the giant spider on the ground and made fun of it. That's why I said you don't know anything about treasure hunting. Buggy calmly tore off the spider thread blocking the front, and said with experience, the more dangerous the road is, the higher the value of the ultimate treasure. Having said that, I couldn't help but be afraid for a while deep in my heart. Grandmas, the treasure map didn't say that there would be such a terrible monster here? So that's the case, then I'll look forward to it a little bit. Mr. Three believed Buggy's nonsense for now. After a simple search, after confirming that there is no so-called treasure in this place, under the guidance of the treasure map, the two found another passage and continued to move forward. A few minutes later, in the same situation, 
another wall of dirt appeared in front of them. When Mr. Three and Buggy explored Treasure Island, the small merchant ship docked outside the reef was attacked by pirates as expected. Although this is a new world, after all, it is relatively close to the first half of the Great Route, and the environment is relatively calm and stable. Therefore, more of the weak pirates who appear here are purely burning, killing, and looting. These pirates, who are experienced in robbery, can cope with it even in the face of merchant ships protected by mercenaries. Can meet Hancock. It can only be said that their luck is really bad. After moving his fingers to solve these little troubles, Hancock stood at the bow and turned his head sideways, looking at the peaceful treasure island. It has been more than half an hour since those two people went in. What treasure will they get? Gold? Jewelry? Or a rare weapon? The pirate empress was suddenly curious. At the same time, Mr. Three and Buggy in Treasure Island are standing in a semicircular space with the same structure as the previous ones. At their feet were the corpses of dog headed bats with broken wings. Before coming here, they had already killed several monsters with strange shapes, such as giant double headed maggots and gargoyle demons. Unlike the rewards that will drop after passing the boss in the game copy, they get nothing along the way. Several failures made the fun of Mr. Three's treasure hunt gradually dissipate. Looking at the treasure map held in Buggy's hands, he couldn't help but ask, Buggy, to be honest, where did you get this treasure map? At this time, Buggy's face also became suspicious, and he said slowly, two years ago, I bought it from a merchant in the Chambord Islands. Merchant? Or an island like Chambord, full of traffickers and scammers? Are you sure you're not being cheated? Treasure maps, especially the blueprints hidden in huge treasures, will be easily sold? These words exploded in the depths of Buggy's mind like a thunderbolt, the corners of his mouth froze, and he was so shocked that his whole painting style suddenly changed to black and white. Nani? That damned one-eyed old thing, dare to lie to me. After reacting, Buggy clenched his fists tightly, his eyes filled with endless anger. How much Bailey did you pay for the treasure map? Mr. Three asked curiously. One thousand. How many? One thousand. Six. What do you mean? Praise you are very smart. After hearing Mr. Three's full of sarcasm, Buggy, who was ashamed and thrown home, crumpled the treasure map in his hand into a ball, and then tore it to pieces. So what do you say next? Do you want to turn around and go back? Mr. Three said with a smothered smile. Continue. We are only one step away from the final treasure, I want to see what kind of shit is inside. Buggy took a few deep breaths to calm himself down, and his eyes became firmer as he looked at the dirt wall in front of him. He really didn't want to go back in such disgrace. Aside from the fact that the supposedly priceless treasures were replaced by grotesque monsters, along the way, the route guided by this treasure map did not deviate too much. Therefore, there is still a last ray of hope left in Buggy's heart. However, this hope will soon turn to despair. Boom. The fragile mud wall was quickly broken by the candle shield machine, and under the curious eyes of the two, the scene inside was revealed. It should be said that it is the place where the final treasure is marked on the treasure map. The space here is wider than anything I have encountered before, like a small palace. Just looking around, the palace was empty, with no sign of any treasures at all. Was it snatched away first? It didn't look like it, and there were no other openings around. Doubt arose in Mr. Three's heart, and when he was about to step into the underground palace to observe carefully, the ground under his feet suddenly trembled violently. A strong and strange smell quickly permeated the air, and the hard dirt ground quickly became as wet as a swamp at a speed visible to the naked eye. Immediately afterwards, the upheaval that stunned both Mr. Three and Buggy, appeared. Even though the current Mr. Three is already very powerful, at this moment, he still involuntarily felt a strong desire to retreat. This survival instinct of desperately wanting to leave this place is even stronger than when he met the yellow ape in Advance City. Roar. Amidst the dull roar, a viscous liquid the size of a hill slowly rose from the ground. An unacceptably pungent smell ensues. What the hell, it's a slime-like monster made purely of various biological excrement. Whoosh whoosh. As the monster's two scarlet eyes slowly emerged, the surrounding ground and mud walls, like the awakened devil fruit can affect the surrounding environment, quickly turned into thin and thick cakes. Mr. Three's complexion changed drastically, and he really wanted to seal the monster's actions with a candle as before. But the liquid candle in his hand has been circulated several times, but he still can't muster up the courage to throw it out. After the fruit ability is awakened and the accuracy is full, the touch that the candle gives back to him is not much different from his own hands and feet. Grab Ollie with your hands? Sorry, he really doesn't have the courage. In order to avoid appearing in front of Hancock and his younger brothers covered in dirty things, Mr. Three made a quick decision and turned around without hesitation and run for his life. Whoosh. 
When Buggy, who was still dumbfounded, realized, Mr. Three had retreated to the entrance of the passage far away from here. You fucking Galdino, wait for me. Buggy cursed, angrily denouncing Mr. Three's immoral behavior of running away alone. Seeing that a huge pile of dirty things in front of him was about to drown him, he didn't care about complaining, so he quickly separated the body above the calf, and quickly floated away, leaving only a pair of pitiful and helpless feet flopping on the sticky, smelly liquid ground. This wave, this wave is called sacrificing the small self to fulfill the big self. Mr. Three took the lead in rushing out of the hole on the side of Treasure Island and came to the periphery of the island. Even so, you can still clearly smell the stench constantly emanating from the inside. After arriving at the first place to land on the island, Mr. Three turned over and got on the sea bike docked on the shore. Wait for me. Mr. Three, wait for me. Buggy in a big red robe floated out from the side with a face full of horror. Even the arrogant and proud new four emperors will inevitably be afraid of such terrible biological weapons. Fortunately, his body was not stained with liquid. Unfortunately, behind him, the dark yellow monster that assimilated the surrounding environment was approaching at an extremely fast speed. Buggy, you fucking hurry up. After all, it is the face of the cross union, Mr. Three finally couldn't bear to see Buggy suffer, and turned around and shouted at him. Here we come. You bastard, you really still have Lao Tzu in your heart. Seeing that Mr. Three was willing to stop at the spot and wait for him, Buggy was moved to tears, although he was still swearing. He stomped on the ground vigorously, jumped, and while avoiding the monster's warm embrace, he firmly grasped Mr. Three's back and sat on the back seat of the bicycle. Ding ding ding. Mr. Three straightened his back, squatted halfway, and stomped wildly with his feet on the bicycle pedals. The S-level physique broke out unreservedly, making the bicycle sprint along the candle channel on the sea at a speed beyond the limit. However, it wasn't long before the sea bike kicked off, and Buggy, who hadn't had time to breathe a sigh of relief, suddenly remembered that his two souls were still. Wait, wait Mr. Three, I haven't got my feet on the car yet. Buggy became impatient on the spot, pulling Mr. Three's back and shaking wildly, his roar full of despair. Stop. Please third brother, stop quickly. Let my two feet get on the car together. Although his souls have already stepped on that kind of thing, stepping on it and being completely covered are two different things. So, Hancock, who was waiting outside, waiting for the treasure that Buggy and the two would bring out, saw this scene in front of him. Mr. Three's forehead was full of veins, as if he had encountered some horrible monster, he was pedaling his bicycle desperately. Buggy who was sitting in the back seat, stared wide-eyed, wailing and struggling in despair. Behind them, a pair of souls were also desperately chasing the bicycle, and one could clearly feel a breath of despair. At the end, there is a large lump of yellow and disgusting viscous liquid. In the end, Mr. Three and Buggy boarded the small merchant ship without any risk. The disgusting viscous liquid seemed unable to leave Treasure Island too far, and retreated back into the island after chasing it to no avail. The environment that was assimilated along the way, unexpectedly returned to its original appearance as it left. Although this phenomenon is very weird and even unscientific, Mr. Three and Buggy, who have experienced that exciting experience, have no idea of exploring at all. Buggy's lucky look and arrogance didn't come true this time. Mr. Three called up the system panel to take a look, and after confirming that the luck value buff had not changed, he could only keep this island in mind temporarily. With the emotion deep in his heart, the short episode of this voyage passed like this. Soon, Small merchant ships came to a Buggy Express stronghold on the edge of the Red Earth continent. According to Mr. Three's plan, they will transfer to a relatively safe and safe submarine here, and pass through the gap deep in the seabed. After successfully reaching the first half of the Great Channel, they switched back to the merchant ship and headed towards the Chambord Islands under the guidance of the permanent pointer. As a very distinctive island, the main body of the Chambord Islands, that is, the roots of the Alkyman mangrove secrete a special natural resin due to respiration. The resin expands due to the air to form bubbles, and then flies into the sky. Since bubbles are only suitable for the climate range of mangrove trees, once the bubbles leave the climate domain of the Chambord Islands, the resin component will not be able to fully exert its power and will blow up. Because of this particularity, from a distance, the entire Chambord Islands are bubbling. The whole island is composed of 79 numbered trees, each with towns and facilities, and the corresponding regional planning is also perfect. 1 to 29. There are mainly human trafficking shops, human auctions, illegal areas, etc. Number 30 to 39. There are mainly soap bubble parks, etc. Number 40 to 49. There are mainly sightseeing areas, specialty shops, etc. Number 50 to 59. Mainly shipyards, coding craftsmen, etc. Number 60 to 69. 
there are mainly naval stations, government entrances and exits, etc. Number 70 to 79, there are mainly hotel streets and so on. And the destination of Mr. Three's trip, Shockey's Ripoff Bar, is in Area 13. Under the operation of the Younger Brothers, the small merchant ship slowly docked on the shore of Number 13 Alcaman Mangrove. Although I have seen it countless times, the scene in front of me is really spectacular. Standing at the bow of the boat, Mr. Three stared blankly at the dreamy island in front of him, with an unconcealable surprise in his eyes. Even though the relevant scenes were read from the memory of the original body, viewing the memory and being there in person are obviously two completely different experiences. Isn't it just an island? It's not like I haven't been here before, so what's so strange? Buggy complained with contempt. At this time, he was not wearing the imposing gahongpao, but changed into a simple pirate casual attire. Even the iconic red nose was dyed black by Mr. Three. They have the same concerns as choosing small merchant ships to travel, and now they are the super pirates who have shocked the world. If he appeared in the Shambord Islands with his original appearance, he probably would have sent a general from the navy before meeting Rayleigh. After all, the Shambord Islands are at the foot of the Holy Land Marie Joya. So even though Buggy disliked having his red nose touched very much, he had no choice. Similarly, Mr. Three also took off the three-shaped bun on the top of his head, and put on black sunglasses and a mustache. As for Hancock, who is the most eye-catching, his face has changed the most. A witch's hawk-beaked nose decoration, two sexy white beards that rise, and heart-shaped sunglasses. Even the snake-shaped pendants hanging on the ears were replaced with silver earrings. It's just that the perfect sexy figure can't be faked, so it can only be slightly covered up with a black and white cape. Let's go. Hancock directly ignored the bickering between Buggy and Mr. Three, stepped forward with slender legs, and stepped off the merchant ship first. Having been here a few times, she knew the way to Shaggy's rip-off bar. Seeing this, Mr. Three and Buggy didn't say much, and followed from left to right. From afar, it looks like the personal bodyguard of a peerless beauty. Just as they were slowly moving towards the ripped-off bar, not far from where the small merchant ship was berthed, there was a pirate ship flying a pirate flag that looked like an engine. Holding a monocular, the one-eyed pirate held the long knife at his waist and asked aloud, How about it, boss, that merchant ship doesn't look like there are any guards, should we take action? It's really courageous to stop in front of us so swaggeringly. Hee <laughs> hee, I don't think it's courageous, it's because it's blind, and didn't see our pirate flag. On the deck, other younger brothers also followed suit, exuding a strong bloody aura from all over their bodies. In front of this group of younger brothers stood a tall man with scars on his face and bulging muscles all over his body. After a few seconds of silence, he made a decision with stern eyes. Forget it, that ship is not within my hunting range. Seeing the bewildered expressions of the younger brothers, as the captain, he raised his finger and pointed at the three of Mr. Three. The three people who disembarked just now are obviously the owners of this merchant ship, if they are normal merchants, if they come to a place like Shambord Islands, it is possible that they are so confident that they don't even bring half of the guards? Judging from this situation, they are either fools with brain problems, or strong people who have absolute confidence in their own strength. Obviously, the possibility of the latter is extremely high. For such a guy whose strength is unknown, we don't need to take action. After some reasonable and well-founded analysis, all the younger brothers stared at gold stars and suddenly realized. As expected of Mr. K. Shing Si, this prudence is beyond our reach. On the plain of the Alpine mangroves, the disguised Hancock glanced slightly behind him. There were many strong killing intents on that pirate ship just now, she whispered. I feel it, but that group of people is too weak, and there is only one person who can see. Mr. Three didn't even turn his head. Although he has not yet reached the level of foreseeing the future, his domineering aura is quite terrifying now. It is impossible for such an undisguised killing intent to escape his perception. What? Hearing both of them say that, Buggy blinked after a short moment of stupefaction, and then said lightly, I feel it too, but it's just a group of ants that can be crushed to death. Mr. Three. Can you pretend to be a little bit too? Compared to his understanding, Hancock frowned slightly. With the example of Mr. Three before, it is really difficult for her to judge Buggy's strength now. As for the rookie pirate group who showed killing intent, since the other party didn't make a move, they didn't bother to talk to each other. Under the leadership of Hancock, soon, a group of three came to Shaki's rip-off bar. Before entering the door, the pirates were the first to hear the low-pitched begging for mercy from inside the bar. Pushing open the door, I saw several vicious-looking pirates lying on the floor of the narrow bar. The severe pain made them roll back and forth uncontrollably. Drinking at my mother's place, you dare not give me money, you are quite brave. The tall and thin woman was sitting on a stool with a burning cigarette in her hand, 
stepping on a ferocious pirate, her posture was quite ferocious. There was a strong coldness on the expressionless face. Hey, give us a break, lady boss, we'll give you the money. The pirate captain who was trampled on the floor did not dare to move at all, with a bruised nose and a swollen face, he could only curse bad luck in his heart. This was the first time they had landed in the Chambord Islands, and they thought that the bar proprietress looked harmless to humans and animals, so she could drink free wine as before and then rob again. Never thought that this woman is so fucking strong. Hearing these words, Shaki slowly moved the soles of his feet away and patted the dust on his hands. If you did this at the very beginning, wouldn't there be nothing? The drinks consumed just now, together with the broken tables and chairs, total 90 berry, thank you. When the pirate captain heard it, his eyes widened instantly. I. Any comments? Shaki took a puff of his cigarette and showed a kind smile. No, very, very affordable price. Thinking of the previous beating, the pirate captain didn't dare to refute at all. After paying the amount given by Shaki, this group of vicious pirates who were doing evil outside passed by the three of Mr. Three and left with their tails between their legs. So, after solving this usual little trouble, Shaki, who was wearing casual short sleeved trousers, walked slowly in front of Hancock. Under the shocked gazes of Mr. Three and Buggy, she reached out and touched Hancock's head, saying, Long time no see, Hancock. The many disguises on Hancock's face may be able to deceive other people, but for Shaki with vicious eyes, they are useless. Long time no see, Miss Shaki. Hancock, who has always been arrogant and arrogant, unexpectedly did not interrupt Shaki's offensive gesture of touching his head, but took the initiative to take off the decoration on his face and smiled. Shaki is the former captain of the Nine Snake Pirates. She took her to sea adventures several times when she was a child, and she is almost like a relative. I've heard about the Amazon Lily, it's great to see you safe and sound. Shaki put his hands on his chest, looked away from Hancock, and looked at Mr. Three and Buggy next to him. Since you, who have already joined the Cross Union, appear here, then these two should be the President, the Clown Buggy, and the General Staff Mr. Three, right? Accurate to amazing vision and judgment ability. When Mr. Three and Buggy heard the words, they also took off the disguise on their faces. Sister Shaki, it's been a long time. You are still as beautiful and charming as before. Buggy, who was always defiant, praised without hesitation. In front of this experienced pirate, he is too young to be a junior. Haha, <laughs> I am very happy to be praised by the new four emperors. Shaki smiled. She took a puff of cigarette and exhaled the smoke ring, her voice was full of emotions about the past. I didn't expect that after the red haired Shanks, the other little guy on Roger's boat who was screaming and screaming, has now become the emperor of a party. Hearing this, the humility on Buggy's face instantly dissipated, and was replaced by a smug look after revealing his true colors. Ah ha ha ha, I just didn't want to compete with that bastard Shanks for the title of four emperors, otherwise, where would he be? It seems that after so many years, the relationship between you is still very harmonious, Shaki said with a smile. At this time, Mr. Three took a step forward and greeted him actively. I've heard of you for a long time, the legendary pirate Shaki. Mr. Three, I have heard a lot about you from Hancock. Compared with the relaxed and happy conversation with the junior buggy in the past, when Shaki faced Mr. Three, his expression was slightly more serious and dignified. If you hide your own plans and strength so deeply, among the people I know, you are enough to be ranked in the top three. Ha ha ha, it's all luck, it's all luck. Mr. Three scratched his head modestly. Buggy, who was standing next to him, immediately ran out to make up the knife. That's right, Miss Shaki. Three this guy is just a little more intelligent, and his fighting ability is very weak. Is that so? Shaki revealed a meaningful smile. She didn't say much, but turned around slowly and walked towards the operating table of the bar. It's rare to come here. Tell me, what do you all want to drink? With me, acquaintances get a percent discount. The three of Mr. Three were not polite, and reported the wine, fruit and juice they wanted to drink on the spot. After sitting down, Hancock first looked around the bar, and then asked aloud, Sister Shaki, where's Raleigh? Raleigh? Shaki handed the mixed wine and juice to the corresponding person, put his chin on one hand and thought briefly, and replied, if nothing unexpected happens, he should be gambling in the casino on the 21st now. If you want to ask him to come forward to promote the cross union, you'd better go there now, it will be a bit troublesome when he loses all the money. The calm and emotionless words fell into the ears of Mr. Three and Buggy, but they were like a bolt from the blue. She guessed the purpose of their trip after just a meeting? Knowing how terrifying Shaggy's intelligence and judgment are, Hancock calmly picked up his glass and took a sip of the juice. Looking at the astonishment on the faces of Mr. Three and the others, Shaggy chuckled softly. You don't need to show such an expression, 
you can easily guess the purpose of your trip based on the recent news and the current situation of your cross union. Purpose. It sounds very simple, but relying on this so-called inference alone is not enough to support her firm tone just now. Sure enough, none of these great pirates who were famous all over the world in the old days was simple. But having said that, you really picked a good time to come here. Shaki supported the bar with both hands, and she, who has the most comprehensive information on the Chambord Islands, said to the puzzled Mr. 33. There are quite a few supernovas of this period on Shampoo now, like Hannah Mira, Death Scythe, Yevakin Coxons, Endless Engine, and Lars Adama, Super Glue, all of whom have emerged recently. Super Rookie. Supernova, they are powerful guys just by their titles. Mr. 3 took a sip of his wine and spoke casually. Although the supernova can be said to be the strongest existence among the rookie pirates, for the cross union, it does not have much gathering value. Those who have not yet experienced the cruelty of the new world have yet to grow in strength, their hearts are more arrogant than the other, and their eyes are bigger than the sky. In contrast, it is better to recruit some new world pirates with deep qualifications and calm personality. Now is not the time to teach and influence these juniors at will like teacher Kaido. These people pose a very limited threat to a powerhouse of your level. Shaki continued. Hearing that, Mr. Three and Buggy agree with each other very much. What is a mere supernova? They are the four emperors now. However, Shaki's next words directly shattered the calmness that appeared on their faces. The one you should be more careful about is the admiral of the navy headquarters, Green Bull. This guy who is as strong as a monster is now also in the Chambord Islands. Naval station in Area 67 of the Chambord Archipelago. A man with messy black curly hair sat on the sofa, slowly opened his mouth, and took a bite of the sweet fruit handed to his mouth by the beautiful sea soldier beside him. The man has high eyebrows, slightly thick lips, and sunglasses on the bridge of his nose. On the tall and strong body, there is a cloak exclusive to the Admiral of the Navy Headquarters. This person is none other than Admiral Green Bull of the Navy Headquarters. Okay, let's eat here, if there is more, it will be annoying. The green cow waved his hand, rejecting the delicious food that the beautiful sea soldiers continued to offer. As a person with the ability to absorb nutrients, he hates eating and finds it too troublesome. Even if there is a beautiful woman to feed, it is only a few mouthfuls with difficulty. General Green Bull, according to observations, the current Chambord Islands have gathered six supernovas, and this should be the last batch. When will we start the siege and arrest operation? Opposite the Green Bull, the base chief of the Chambord defenders asked respectfully. Calculate the number and location of those stupid pirates and do it. I will deal with the troublesome guys directly. You must control the rest of the pirates as quickly as possible. Green Bull lit a cigarette casually, his palm turned into a tree root, and confessed with a gloomy face. I don't want to disturb the noble Tianlong people who came here to auction slaves because of the mere arrest. Ever since he was intimidated by the domineering red-haired domineering look in Wano country and turned around and fled, he was scolded by a Kainu and sent to the Shambord Islands to capture the supernova pirates of the new era. After all, it is very close to the holy land of Marie Joya, and if there is any emergency there, he can rush back to support it as soon as possible. Although I can understand the intention of a Kainu's assignment, but as an admiral, he went to the Shambord Islands to catch some unworthy pirates. This puts the Green Bull in a bad mood. Sensing the tyrannical aura emanating from him, the base commander and the rest of the sailors trembled, and replied with a serious expression, Understood, Master Green Bull. Then let's go to collect statistics now, I'll sleep a little, and call me when I'm done. After all, under the shocked gazes of the sea soldiers, two thick trees suddenly grew on the ground behind the Green Bull. Between the tree trunks, flexible vines are intertwined, forming a comfortable hammock and hanging down. Hey! This beauty, do you want to come together? The green cow extended an invitation to the beautiful sea soldier who was feeding just now. No, thank you very much for your invitation, but I still need to count the number of pirates. The beautiful sea soldier blushed and refused in a hurry. Well, that's really a pity. Seeing this, the green cow didn't force it. After sighing slightly, he lay on the vine hammock with his legs crossed. The surrounding sailors looked at each other in blank dismay, and after standing there for a few seconds, they hurriedly left the place and devoted themselves to the preparatory work of encircling and arresting the supernovas. At this time, they, including the leisurely Green Bull, never imagined that there is still a four emperors in the current Chambord. Shaggy's rip-off bar. In this case, then we can't act too much as we want. After listening to Shaggy's analysis of the general reason why the green cow came here, Mr. Three spread his hands, with a dignified look on his face. After traveling here, the only general who has fought against him is the yellow ape Paluzalino. At that time, although he hadn't completed teacher Kaido's domineering lecture, 
his fruit ability had been awakened, and his strength had been greatly increased. But when facing the yellow ape, he still has a very obvious powerlessness. For the time being, he still can't deal with a strong man of this level. It's okay, his target is not you, and your target is not the navy. If you try not to make too much noise, nothing will happen. Shaki saw the concern in Mr. Three's eyes. Ah ha ha ha, don't worry, Miss Shaki, although we are very powerful now, we won't provoke the Admiral for no reason. Buggy patted his chest and said logically, after seeing Rayleigh, we will leave quietly. Fuck my god Buggy, don't fucking put flags indiscriminately. For some reason, upon hearing these words, Mr. Three inexplicably felt a strong uneasiness. I hope this is just an illusion, and it's not the domineering arrogance at work. Then I wish you good luck. Shaki took a puff of cigarette with a smile on his face. Ding ding ding. At this moment, there was a sound of opening the door of the bar. Several mysterious people wearing skull masks, black cloaks, and huge scythes walked in slowly. What followed was an inexplicably gloomy and oppressive atmosphere. Cosplay? The moment he saw several people dressed up, this modern vocabulary naturally appeared in the back of Mr. Three's mind. It's just that it's obvious that the few people who suddenly appeared in front of them are not role-playing enthusiasts out of interest. They all exude a strong bloody breath. Different from Mr. Three's slight surprise, these men in black clothes who looked like death gods, after a few seconds of stupefaction, recognized the identities of the people in front of them, at this time Mr. Three and the others had removed their disguises, and their bodies were chilling and chilling. The breath disappeared instantly. Instead, I couldn't help but turn around and flee from the shock and panic. The new emperor who is well known throughout the sea has created the amazing feat of pirates offering rewards to the navy, and has conquered several Shichibukai's four emperor's clown buggy with absolute strength and charm. Why? Will appear here? And the two sitting next to him, aren't they Mr. Three, the candle demon army advisor with a bounty of more than 1.5 billion, and Boa Hancock, the pirate queen? How unlucky is this to meet in this small bar? Captain, they, they belong to the cross union. It's over, it's over. I said you can't eat eggs when you go out in the morning, it's all over now. A reaper, standing at the back was terrified and sat on the ground, and the crisp female voice was full of panic. What are you talking about? What about eggs? Cross Union, the new four emperors who are famous in the new world. How could they appear here? The god of reaper's voice was hoarse and low. Although the whole body is shrouded in a pitch black cloak, the beautiful outline of the body can still be captured. I just don't know what the face looks like, huh? But, but. The Grim Reaper who was sitting on the ground raised his finger tremblingly. However, her offensive behavior was immediately blocked by her teammates, and everyone shot at the same time and dragged her outside the bar. There was a vague scolding sound. Pig! You don't have the slightest hostility on him, and you still want to stretch your fingers to recognize it, because you don't think your life is long enough. Seeing that the crew didn't cause any serious trouble, Captain Reaper breathed a sigh of relief, walked slowly to Mr. Three's side, and sat down calmly. Ma'am, a glass of whiskey. While speaking, she took out a large stack of Bailey notes from inside the cloak, and looked at the three of Mr. Three. This is the money for the wine, and these three friends will also be counted together. Okay. Wait. With a smile on his face, Shaki turned to face the wine cabinet behind him and started mixing. For this horrifyingly dressed guest, she didn't show too much abnormality, just doing what a tavern proprietress should do normally. This attitude is naturally telling Mr. Three that the three of them don't need to care. The other party is not the kind of person who will casually reveal their whereabouts. Seeing this, Mr. Three calmly removed the flowing candle liquid hidden in the cuff. 